Gamers, I'm here. Rockstar64 is here. It's Saturday. It's time for our Saturday stream. We're gonna play some video games tonight, today, this afternoon, right here, right now. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good one. I hope everyone managed to uh, hang in there, uh, do some good stuff. Um, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Oh man, oh man, oh man, it's been, ugh, I don't even remember what happened this week. Um, at all. But I went to get food the other day. From a place like right outside the mall, and... I was really surprised to see that the mall parking lot was completely full. Like, completely full. And the mall was crawling with people, and it's like, what the hell is wrong with you stupid idiots? What are you doing? Like, I was just going to, to a place, like, right outside the mall to go in, grab food, and leave. But even that place had a line going out the door, maybe a foot and a half between each person in line, and people eating, like, in the restaurant and outside, uh, the outside seating. It's, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you fucking dumb shits? I was, I was super tempted to just... To, to bail on it, you know, I, I ordered online and already paid so I could just go grab it and leave I was this close to just abandoning it. You can keep my money. I'm, I'm just gonna go home and eat uh, And eat expired cereal Ugh, fuck <laughs> No Shingo, I was able to to run in real quick grab my food and leave so I didn't have to wait but still it's just it if, if there's one thing, if there's one thing that pisses me off more than anything else, it's stupid people. And maybe that's a little ironic, because I'm not exactly the smartest cookie in the in the cushion, but... I cannot stand stupid people. It just... Mm, especially when they're when they're doing better than me. When, when I see a stupid person, you know, in a position way above me doing better than me, that just pisses me off. Anyway, enough of this. Enough of that. Let, let, let's just cut it out. Let, let's let's play video games. Enough enough sitting here being mad and angry. Let's play some video games. So let's see. Uh, let's set the category. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get the. Oop, that's not the right scene. That's the right scene. And let's get the game started. Let's see if OBS picks it up quickly enough. Come on, OBS. There you go. There you go. Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? Oh no, he's been friend-zoned. You never gave me a chance, and for that... You'll fry like a pork sausage. Not a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. Oh my gosh. Oh! Here they are. They're here to stop this incel in his tracks. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. Oh no. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Oh! Oh, there we go. Ow. He, that looks rather violent. Nice one. There's... Yikes. There's fluids coming off of his oh. fist. Oh, He's no. He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? What console is this? Um... That's no head, Max. I, one damned ugly time bomb. I guess it's technically pronto. Technically it's MS-DOS. Well, Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. 
Mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never huh? forget all you've done here today. Sam and Max have saved the day. They did great, and they're going home now. Everything has been taken care of. No loose ends have been left behind. Everything is good. There you go. Did it leave her tied up? Don't worry about it, Warp Track. It's fine. Um, she- it's- it's fine. They stopped the bad guy. They, they did good enough. They did most of the work. Maybe- yeah, yeah, maybe she likes being tied up. Here we go. Here's all the people who made the video game. They're all here right now. They're all being listed here. And they're looking at the Sam- the, the max- the max signal in the sky. Did Mr. Shitface work on this? I hope not. Just casually beating up this clown, you know, having to read of the magazine. It's just an everyday, everyday thing for Sam and Max. And their car ran over by a train. It's no big deal. You can call 1-800-STAR-WARS. It seems like a good idea. Yet. Did I ever watch the cartoon? I did not. It was on TV when I was a kid, but I never watched it. Here we are. Well, back. that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. The head. The explosive head they, Max, they picked where up. where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. That seems like a good idea. Seems like a great place to dispose of explosives. There we go. All good. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Oh! Oh, where's the phone? Oh, go get the phone! No! Oh, boy. Oh, no. All right, Max is out the window. Hello? We got the phone. Yes, yes, yes. No. Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Alright, so we're gonna have to meet the courier on the street to find out what our mission is. Alright, so Sam and Max is a pointy-clicky adventure game, so we're gonna walk around just like that. We can point and click wherever we want to go, and we can interact with things. We can, we can walk. We can look. This phone represents unhindered contact with the outside world. Until they realize we don't pay the bills. No, we can grab. Let's go grab. Let's go grab some of these darts. Seems like a good idea. There we go. We can speak. So let's go have a gab at Max here. I'm filled with disgust and an odd sense of foreboding. And? There we go. Well, that's all. We can speak. We can interact. This is no time for chit-chat. Oh, no time for chit-chat. And that's, that's the stuff you can do. So let's see. Let's... Let's, let's go reach into the mouse hole here and see what we got. Cash. 
Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. There we go. So there was money in the mouse hole, so we'll just throw that in our inventory. Let's see what else can we do here. We might as well, uh, dink around here, grab a few more things. See if there's anything, anything important here? What's... What's this? That's the tuna fish sandwich I made last spring. Mmm, delicious. Hmm. They're pretty happy with that. It's Max's Roach Farm. Okay, what else we got here that we can interact with? Can we take this roach farm with us? Uh, don't think we can. It's I not... can't pick that up. Yeah, we can't take it with us. But I see something over here. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare '60s posters. Hmm. Well, let's see how that black light looks with the with the lights off. Let's see. Click the puppet. I'll 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 check that in a second. First first, I want to see what the black light looks like with the lights off. Let's head over here. All right, let's turn that black light on. Whoa! Oh, oh, there we go. It looks great. All right, let's just take that black light with us. It could be useful. I better turn it off first. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just take that. You never know when you'll need a black light. Can't click on the puppet. All right, so that's most of the junk that I can see in here. I mean, there's a rat, but I'm not too concerned with rat. Let's turn on the lights. It's not like we're paying for paying the electricity bills anyway. And let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Nope, can't take the rifle. Let's see. What's upstairs? We don't go upstairs. Oh, okay, that's not fine. Since the accident. The accident. We got our next door neighbor, Flint Paper. Oh, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Oh, brutal. Oh. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is smiley. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Oh, this poor guy. Guess he had it coming to him. Can we head on in here? Can we pay a visit to Flint? Don't think we can. We don't got no interaction options with it. Okay, we'll leave Flint alone. He's probably busy working on a case. There we go. Out here in the street. I see a cat. Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. I am repulsed by his bulging eyes. Hmm, can we take the cat with us? I won't pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. Oh. Okay, that's understandable. What else we got around here? Let's see. Got, got a parking meter. Got, got, oops. Parking meter. Hmm, I guess I can't click on that. No, I'm supposed to be able to, right? It lit up a second. Maybe it was Max. I think I had lit up Max. Let's see what that sign says. Soiled office space available. Hmm. Can we take it? I can't pick that up. Okay, just thought I'd check. Got some pigeons up here. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. Hmm. Here we got Bosco's. Bosco's guns, liquor, baby needs. Hmm, can we go in? Can we pay a visit? Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? Uh-oh. That's telling him, little buddy. <laughs> oh, we're stopping a robbery. Someone's robbing Bosco. I we stopped him. Learned a valuable lesson, Sam. We did it. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. No, oh, well, we saved Bosco's. What do we got here? No, oh, that's the car. I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. I wanted to see the mail. Somebody's been ripping off the U.S. Postal Service. Did we assault an innocent man? No, no, they were robbing Bosco's liquor store. We just beat them up for robbing the liquor store. Steal the mail? Are you nuts? Uh-oh. Can't be stealing no mail. 
Uh, don't think we can go back here. Or can we? Nope, can't go to really bad foods. Really bad food. Uh, I guess we shouldn't want to go to really bad food anyway. Let's see, what else we got here before we... Weren't we supposed to meet a, a courier out here? I wonder if this cat's the courier. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, uh oh. Oh, here it comes. Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. Oh, dang. Well, now what are we gonna do? We have to get him to hawk up those hawk up those orders. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Don't get smart with me, bub. Or my partner will floss every last crevice on his body with your whiskers. That's unsanitary, Sam. What, what else can we ascertain hey there, from this fella. guy? You talking to me? I guess not. Oh, that's the no button. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Give really bad food to the cat so it throws up? That's actually a really good idea. Your head is disturbingly disproportionate to your body. It's a vocal cord. You'd be amazed how much room they take up. Okay, do we have any food? We have money. We have a, a black light. Hmm. Can we grab that sandwich from inside the office? Let's go take a look. force feeded money? I don't think that's going to help us out. Oh, not upstairs. Let's go back in the office. I'm pretty sure the sandwich is gone. Let's just take a quick peek. Yep, sandwich is gone, so that's not the- not the trick. But don't think we have to force feed him a sandwich. Feed him the dead guy from the banister? I don't think that's an option. <laughs> Let's see. Can we... Oops, nope. Can- nope, Max cannot interact with him. Well, this is the I first- love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Oh, Max has an idea. Oh, there you go. It was so simple. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like guinea time. All right, so we gotta head to the carnival to check out the unusual happenstances. So let's go. Let's hop into DeSoto and go. Go. All right, so we'll just head on over to that carnival up here. Does anyone live up here where this carnival is? I forget which state's up over here. Is this New England? I don't know geography very well. I'm bad at that. Ah, good old carnival. Tom Nation and Blimey, he ain't here. So now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for him, you idiot. I knew that. Uh. He's too suspicious. Get out of Mr. Bumpus way, ye partially clad varmints. Those two are suspicious. Who is that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Alright, so here we are. We're at the carnival. What we got here? Cushman Brothers Shows. It looks like they're closed right now, that's no good. Let's head into the Hall of Oddities here and see what's going on. Stop. Oh! Jeez. Hey, what's the holdup? Sorry boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Who's Who that are guy? Those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? 
The short one with the bad hairpiece, and the tall one with the dark, flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? Um... A lot of sand, Oleo Breath. Nope. Oh, that would have been too easy. Rubber duck? I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. Okay. I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Well, let's show him what we got from the commissioner. Maybe this will change his mind. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Oh, uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Uh, I guess you can go in. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. mm. That was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Will this game also have a slide mini game? I hope not, Chihuahua. I don't want it. Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there! How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but... It's them! Here they come. Hello. Hi, I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot. Oh boy. On ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free coin dogs, so we can yuke all over ourselves. Mmm, delicious. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? All right, so we got our pass. We have full reign of the carnival. Let's see what we got here. It's a melted ice block. Oh, I'm glad that he's in there and we're out here and that he's a sheriff. All right, looks like it's some, uh... Oh, sorry gamers, Taco Bell is texting me. I told them not to text me. I told them not to bother me unless they're offering me a sponsorship, but they, they didn't listen. Okay, what we got here? It's a mange-ridden tuft of Bruno's Sasquatch hair. I think it would make a swell toupee for balding computer programmers. Oh. Don't be stupid, Max. Oh, okay, what else we got Ugh. here? We got a... We're not allowed to see what this is. We got... He looks delicious. Oh, no. Don't eat him. He's a nice guy, but sort of a drip. Wait, can we talk to these guys? Hi. Uh-oh. Well, he's not much of a talker. What about this this fella here? Hi. Oh, he's probably not gonna do much either. What about you? How Kafkaesque. 
Hi. Oh, he's not real. All right, what else we got here? That a hand? Jesse James severed hand, and it's still twitching. Hmm. Can I take it? Nice. We're taking Jesse James's hand. Oh yeah. So this is what happens to unsuccessful third-party presidential candidates. All right, so far so good. Let's let's have a quick chat with the um with the guys here. See what we can find out. Uh, which one do I talk to? Me, me, him, him. Is there anything else you can tell us about your escape, Bigfoot? Well, he's a Bigfoot. He's escaped. He's a menace to society. What more could you possibly need to know? He's right, Sam. I don't think my colossal head could retain any more knowledge. Mm, those are good points. And what about Giraffe Girl? What can you tell us about Trixie? She's a very caring, sensitive young woman. If you care about that kind of stuff. She used to sing folk songs to the other freaks in her trailer. You ever heard a Scrantonese folk song? No. You don't want to. Oh, there was one other thing. She likes her men like the Statue of Liberty. Green and rusty? Tall and dense. Huh. Uh, what about that weirdo? Who are those guys we bumped into out by the gate? Uh, what guys? One was a short guy with big hair. The other one was a tall guy with big hands. Oh, you must be talking about internationally renowned recording star Conroy Bumpus. Bumpus? And his assistant Lee Harvey. Bumpus? Who's Conroy Bumpus? He's a loon. Insane. And the country and western singer, The Boot. He actually wanted to buy Bruno and Trixie from us. Boy, was he steamed when he found out that we didn't have many more. Huh. Oh, that's suspicious. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. All right, let me crack open my gamer juice since I actually have some today. Let's see, come on. There we go. Mm. Ah, that's the good stuff. Got me a classic Monster Energy Zero Ultra. You know, the usual, the good stuff. Alright, what we got here? What we got here? This must be Trixie's trailer. It's one of those locks you can shoot a bullet through. Hmm. Well, let's go in. Uh... I'd better do something about that padlock first. Oh, do we have a gun? We don't have a gun on us. Wasn't there a gun in here? Because I thought I saw a gun. Uh, let's check over here real quick. I saw a gun... Here! See? There's a gun right there. Can I grab that? Nope. I can't interact with it. Okay. Would have been... Oop. I just clicked off of scum. Get back in there. All right, can't grab that gun. We'll find another one. It, it's a carnival. There's bound to be other deadly weapons we can get our hands on. Let's see. It's a wholesome whacker rat game. Oh, let's give it a shot. Where's the rats? You fuckers! Come on. Get out of there! Come on, get- Uh-oh. I'm not doing so well. I'm not- I'm not doing so well at the whack rat game. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! What did I just do? What did I just do? Damn it! I can't fix it right now because I'm playing whack the rat Damn it! Ah, oh, crumbs. I broke everything. I'm a winner at least, but I also effed up the screen size. I won something. But that's fine and all, but I I I, I broke everything. <laughs> um Okay, hold on. Hold on. 
Let me see if I can get this to work. Oh, come on, video game. Why you do this to me? Why can I even resize the window just like just by doing that? That just makes me mad. Is it is it gonna recognize it? Come on, OBS. Give me a break. OBS, you're breaking my balls here. Okay, we will do this the hard way. I hate when games just let you arbitrarily resize things and it breaks stuff. All right. There we go. We're back. Let's let's grab our. What do we win here? It's a wholesome whack -a rat game. No, I, I want my prize. What is this? Hey, this crummy prize doesn't come with any light bulb. Oh, it's a flashlight. What about here? What game is this? It's one of those impossible to win carny games that have been ripping off the American consumer for decades. I love capitalism. All right, can we play this one? It's out of order. Oh. Can we pull this plug? Nope, can't interact with it. I thought this said gun. It says fun. I'm trying to find a gun for purely non-violent reasons. Cone of tragedy. If I didn't know that this guy was a highly skilled professional, I'd be very afraid. All right, what do you know? Excuse us. We need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come to you for advice. Huh? What do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who wants to know? We're the freelance police, and we're in a race against time. Thanks for subscribing, Extreme Laser. Hey, barefoot. All I know about Bruno is what the Cushmans tell me. Well, that was useless. You might want to try the Tunnel of Love, though. Rumor has it that one of Bruno's buddies hangs out in there. Ooh. Ooh, let's go, Sam. Oh, hush. All right, what about, what about Trixie? Do you have any idea what happened to Trixie? Trixie, the giraffe girl from Scranton? No, Trixie, the talkative poodle. She's my best customer. She used to ride the cone of tragedy for hours on end. Why would a carny I ride a carny ride? I used to whip back and forth when I cranked it up to full speed. Your sadism is a credit to your profession. All right, tell me about your ride. Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right, we've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck? You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. Oh, boy. I can't wait to ride the cone of tragedy. It's gonna be a great time. Why? This doesn't seem... safe. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! I don't want it anymore! Oh, Jesus! No! I don't think this is legal. Okay, I think we survived. Sam is in bad shape. Oh, okay, I think he's back. Yep, heart is beating again. There you go. Ooh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. 
It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Let's do it again. Maybe later, chum. All right, well, that was that was worthwhile. Let's see, what else can we find in this park here? What we got back here? Take me to the fun. Take me to the duck fun. Oh, here we are. Ooh, lost and found. This seems perfect. Let's see what kind of nonsense we can find from here. Let me in. Holy cripes on toast. Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. Ho <laughs> ho! Have you lost something? I don't think so. I've lost my youthful enthusiasm and boyish good looks. If you haven't lost anything, then get out of the lost and found tent! Oh, okay. Touchy. Alright, what we got here? A strength meter Hmm. I shudder to think of the number of promising dates cut short by this fiendish contraption. Can we use this? Can I hit it hey, with Max? Max? What? Can you ring that bell? Sure. We got it. You're my hero, little buddy. Okay, there was no reason to do it. <laughs> Let's talk to, uh, Karnov over here. Hey, flame boy! Yes? Let's see what he knows about, uh... Doesn't that hurt? Oh, he, he's not gonna a tell lot. me. I suppose there's a trick to eat. I just haven't been able to figure it out. Oh, poor guy. Your ineptitude gives hope to all of us further down on the food chain. Is there anything else I can do for you? There's our options. Okay. Did you ever talk to Bruno before he escaped? How could I? He was in a block of ice. What do you know about Trixie? Absolutely nothing. We oh. never talked to each other. Oh, no. Ever. Well, he's useless. Nah. Good. All right, let's see what's on this side of the carnival. Oh, right, we're supposed to ride this so we can, um... We can find... find his friends. Of love. I think this is the proverbial ugly swan that used to be a beautiful duckling. Alright, let's get on. We'll need a free pass. We have a free pass. Hey, what happened to my carefully oh. collected box of useless junk? Where's all our stuff? Oh, no. It must have fallen out when we rode the rode the 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 tragedy thing. Let's go to the lost and found. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Give me my stuff. I still can't get over your incredible grotesqueness. Have you lost something? I've lost a whole bunch of neat junk. Have you got a claim ticket? A claim ticket? Well, no, but... Do you think we let just any dog-faced guy in a suit come in here and take stuff? Come back when you've got a claim ticket. Where the heck am I gonna get a claim Touchy. ticket? I wouldn't have wrote it if I knew I was gonna lose all my stuff. Where the heck am I gonna get a claim ticket here? Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? I lost all my stuff. Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Oh, there Take we go. It to the lost and found. Just what we needed. All right, now let's go get our junk. I have a feeling that the Kona tragedy might be a scam to get people's belongings and money. I still can't get over your incredible grotesqueness. Have you lost something? I've lost a whole bunch of neat junk. Have you got a claim ticket? Sure. Wait here while I search through the back room. Back room? It's a, it's a tent. Well, here's all the 
stuff we've collected off the Kono tragedy today. It's all yours. I feel whole again. There we go. It's all here. Okay, I, I had to make sure there was nothing new in there. Now we can go ride the Tunnel of Love. Let's go. Did it. Doing it. Go ride it again. No warp track. We're not riding it again right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get our uh, pass. And we will use it on the Tunnel of Love. I can't use these things together. Oh. Never mind. We're just gonna board the Tunnel of Love. Wanna ride the Tunnel of Love? Yippee! Oh, look at that. Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. David Byrne. What else we got here? Uh-oh, that looks dangerous. Wow, a loving recreation of that Evelyn Morrison classic, Revenge of the Gill Guy. You really should get out more, Sam. Something's going on up there. What is this? How do I... I can't use these things together. What things? Uh-oh. Just, just another random acts of violence. Thank goodness today's leaders react more calmly to negative opinion polls. It's a cleverly hidden secret door that looks like a cheap-looking painting of a castle. Hmm. Can we go over there? I don't think we can. We have to find a way to get over here. Well, that was fun. My little body's covered with swan pimples. Hmm, now that I think of it... We have a black light. We can put that in the flashlight, right? It fits perfectly. Oh, nice! But can we just use this? I can't use these things together. Can we shine the black light inside of the Tunnel of Love and Wanna find the secret? The tunnel of Love again? Why not? Let's see. Alright. Oh! Corn dogs! I want the corn dogs. Can I take it? I can't pick that up from here. Aw, oh, damn. A broom? Can I have the broom? I can't pick that up from here. I can't pick that up from here. I bet we can interact with this. Let's see. I can't use that. I can't use I can't use that from here. That's probably a good idea. I should have tried it sooner. Oh dang. I can't walk through this door. It's not real. Thank goodness today's leaders react more calmly to negative opinion polls. Okay, I think we have to use Max on that control panel a little earlier. We figured it out too late. All right, let's just let's just end the ride and go back on. That ride continues to amuse me. I think we're supposed to do something in there, Sam. All right, let's get back on here. And this time we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna interact with things. Let's ride the TOL again. If you insist. How do I... I don't know what the button is to skip animations, but we'll figure it out. God damn it, come on, hurry! Okay, there we go. Oh. I can't pick that up from here. Fine. Hot dogs will be for another day. Let's use Max on the thing. That's a good idea. Maybe I should try and put it a little closer to the fuse box. We're almost mm. there. Come on. We did it! Alright. 
Uh, what do we got here? What do we got? Get off of there, Max. Why? Check this out. Oh no. I'll never shave again. You never did. Can we get this head? I can't pick that up. No, oh, I want the head. No, really. I can't pick that up. I, let, let me get it. Are you dense? I can't pick that up. I want it. Read my lips. I can't pick that up. But I, I want it. I give up. Uh oh. Now you've done it. You've broken Sam's spirit with your stupid attempts to pick up that silly object. Oh no. I'm sorry. In fact, if I didn't find his pitiful sobbing so amusing, I'd come out there and rip your limbs off. I'm sorry. I'll, I, I just wanted the head. <gasps> just ignore them, Sam. Maybe they'll go away. Okay. Okay. We, we we'll just continue. We'll, we'll just we'll just go on. I'm sorry. Ah, this must be the buddy we heard so much about. Couches spud us in his native habitat. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? Alright, tell me about the Sasquatch. Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Stop him, Sam. He's gonna tell us a story. Oh, no. I first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. Several hours later. And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus. And... Shut up! For God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Tell me your about uncle. your uncle. Yeah, my uncle Shavuul. He's really into Bigfoots. When I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances and... That's great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. Mm. <gasps> the largest ball of twine on Earth? I think I may weep openly. Look, you two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. Pecan I'll flavored also tell candy. you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Ooh. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. That's a good point. You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. Why do all you squishy, poorly focused blobs say that? Never mind. I think that's all for now. Fine. You can find your own way out. Alright, what do we got here? What do we have? Let's see, let's have a look around. What can we interact with here? This? This looks like the Tunnel of Love reset switch. Just like at the bowling alley. Hmm, we can't actually interact with too much here. We can look at Max. It's Max. Oh, might as well pull the switch, I guess. I can't pick that up. There, that should get things running again. All right, well, we're just gonna have to go to the largest ball of twine in the world. Unless there's something here we can find. Nope, just takes us around. All right, we gotta go to the largest ball of twine in the whole world. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, God! <clears throat> I clicked off the window. <laughs> Uh, it'd probably be better for me if I had this full screen, but I don't have enough monitors for that. I only got two monitors, and if I full screen it, I'm not gonna be able to see nothing. Oh, the plight of not having enough monitor. Look at that garbage clown, I love him. Alright, let's go. Alright, to the largest ball of twine on Earth, but first let's stop at Burger. Snuckies. 
If Max spontaneously grew antlers, he still wouldn't be this ugly. Wow, that's rude. What else we got here? What's this place all about? Ooh, someone dropped a cup. It's one of those jumbo size all you can drink Snuckies cups. It's almost as big as my head. Oh, that might be useful. Let's just grab it. This is what they do to merry-go-round horses who won't stay with a pack. Oh no. Anything else around here? Nope. All right. Well, let's just head in. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max portable car bomb games. Hmm. Can I can I have some? What we got over here? It's an official Snucky's fly swatter. Oh, I want a fly swatter. I prefer heavier artillery to take out rogue flies. Oh, okay. We won't worry about that then. What about all this junk? It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. Can I take any of it? I can't pick that up. Oh, okay. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Max has to go to the bathroom. Jackalopes. The bastard pets of Piltdown Man. Can I take a jackalope? I don't want to scare Max. Oh, that's understandable. Genuine Native American drums, manufactured by genuine Native Koreans. Hmm, could I have one of those? No way. Max tried to swallow one the last time. Oh, that's understandable. Who's this guy? I gotta go to the bathroom. He really loves his ice cream. Max has to go to the bathroom. Let's talk to Peter Griffin. Excuse me. <laughs> Sharing this experience with you has reminded me. I want Twinklies! More Twinklies! Excuse me. What? <laughs> he doesn't have much to, to say. To the uh, Max has to go to the bathroom. Oh, look, Bernard's over here. I guess he runs this store. He's one hell of a soda jerk. I gotta go to the bathroom. What's up, Bernard? Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky You for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? Well, um... Have you seen a Sasquatch? Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the Weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Anything else? What about this bomb game? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? I do. Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? Yeah, Shingo, I'm pretty sure he's just supposed to be a direct reference to Day of the Tentacle. It's probably the same voice actor as well. Anyway, Max has to go to the bathroom. My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned! I need a bathroom! They're in the back. Here's the key. Oh, Off boy. With a big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. Wow. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Um, guess not. Snucky you. Is that in the pack 10? No, no, no. Snucky you is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snuckies. Fascinating. At Snucky U, we're given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Oh, cool. he's a jar opener. Now, how can I put all that Snucky you training to use for you? You know what? We have Jesse James's hand in the jar. Can you open this? Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open.
Whoa! Anything else I can do for you? He did it. Oh, I smell beef fritters. We dip the cows right here in the kitchen. So, what do you want? That's all. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Oh, Max must have finished in the bathroom. Why did we... Why did... What was the point of... Getting Max to go to the bathroom? Here's your key. I, I, I kind of feel like we should have kept that key. What the heck is this? It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its sign. When I did we... how that got in there. Yeah, when did we pick this up? Huh. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. Hmm, can we... Hold on. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky you for another six years before I could... Oh, I guess Max doesn't have to go to the bathroom right now. We won't worry about it. You have... Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll check out the bathroom in the future, I guess. If we couldn't figure it out this time. But let's go to that ball of twine. Where's the car? Where's the bathroom? Is this where the bathroom is? I assume the bathroom might actually be around here. But it doesn't matter, we don't have the key no more. Okay, whatever, let's hop into DeSoto and go to the Ball of Twine. Here we are. The world's largest ball of twine. Oh boy, look at that thing. It's huge! It's so big! It's enormous! Holy cat heaven, how long do you suppose it took them to wind this immense ball of twine? More importantly, how did they get it to stop rolling once it was all wound? Oh, let's head on in. What? Now there's something you don't see every day. What the hell are you talking about, Sam? We dump our fish heads out the window all the time. Yeah, but these are halibut. Hmm. He looks like my 8th grade English teacher, but with more warmth. Well, that's how I chat with this man. Do you work here? Yep, have been for 40 years. So, how can I help you? We're looking for the Mole Man's uncle. Uh... But first, let's ask about everything. You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Oh. By the stories I could tell. That's... no, no stories. No! I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? Sort of. That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. Echidna? Is there anything else I can help you with? Echidna? Uh, what's going on with these fish? What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. World of fish. Have you seen this weirdo? Has Conroy Bumpus passed through here? Who's that? He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. Oh. Uh. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. Wow. Stop staring at me. I can't help it. I mean, to be fair, if you saw this guy walking around in the wild, you'd probably stare at him too. And by the wild, I mean down the street at the 7-Eleven. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Well, they've got one of these too, but half of it's French. That'll be all for now. Alright. 
Words like big and large only begin to describe this thing. I think stupid and inane would be useful additions. Hmm. Not to mention grotesque. Grotesque. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit. Oh. Propelling our planet on a collision course with the sun. Great. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Uh-oh. Way to take the short view, little buddy. I hate to break it to you guys, Max is dead. Will I stream the new Sam and Max games? Uh, I had not considered that game, Bob. I don't know. I, I guess it depends on how this goes. <laughs> According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. Can I take this? If I'm gonna need any string in this game, it had better be a longer piece. Oh, that's a good point. What we got here? What's this? It's a one two hundred thousand scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only one two hundred thousand as stupid as the actual ball of twine. Hmm. Alright. He looks like my eighth grade English teacher. Okay, we already talked to him. Alright, let's see what else we can do here. He didn't really give us much information. Oh, maybe we can ride up there. Let's go, let's go see if we can hop on this lift. How cryptic are the puzzles in this game? Well, this is from the era of point and clicks that made them famous for being extremely cryptic. Obviously, it's no, you know... It's no Space Quest or King's Quest, but it's still from that era, so... <laughs> it's a tram launch leading to the Ball of Twine restaurant, and this sign points to the Twine Museum. Oh, let's, let's hop on. Let me in. Oh, missed it. I, I guess we gotta wait for it to come back down. Come on. I want to ride the tram. I want to go up there. It's almost here. Alright, let me in. Let me... There we go. Leg, Max. I had to use the little walkie thing, not the usey thing. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat fish at the restaurant up here. Shit, now that I say that, I would love to have... Hey, look! Oh, look at that twine. Is this a LucasArts game? Yes, Game Bob, it is. Yeah, now that I say that, I would really love to have some fried fish right now. Just some fried up white fish and some, some thick cut fries. That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach oh, it from this man, side of the good. deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. And as a as a Marylander, I, I would have to have some a whole bunch of Old Bay seasoning to cover it all in. Mm. Wonder if I can get fried fish anywhere without approaching a infectious mall like I had to for my dinner last night. I don't know. Okay, what do we got here? Let me in. Here we are. Oh, that looks dangerous. These exposed wires look like they're part of the restaurant control mechanism. They look like overcooked pasta to me, Sam. Alright, what else we got here? Uh, oh, can I use this? It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. Oh, can I use it? Whoa, uh-oh. No, stop. I'm gonna be ill. I'm gonna be ill. I don't wanna use it anymore. Let, let me out. Actually, how do I get out? I'm left clicking, I'm right clicking. I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. Well, I'm sure we'll have to use this sometime later. Thanks for donating, Bear DR. Appreciate it. I'll try to find some good, some good fish to spend that money on. Seafood. It's Max. But don't look at Max. I want to look at everything else. Fresh fish. 
Oh, who's this? Who's this Swami over here? He looks safe enough. He looks safe enough. What's he doing? He's bending wrenches. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. Oh, well, that foul makes mouth. Sense. Okay, well, what's going on? Have you seen this man? Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? No. Oh. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the f*** is Bruno the Bigfoot? Uh, this Damn, man... He's speaking in tongues! This man is rude. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. Like scratching those hard-to-reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Actually, yes, I would. Sure. Let me make one for you. Oh boy, a fresh bent tool. There we go. It's all yours. Me. Thanks. All right. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Get bent. Rude. Percent sign, Amersan, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon, too. What are you doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. There you go. Well, bye. My dog is on the other side of the room. He's sleeping. But I think he's having a bad dream because he's he's doing little little yips and yelps in his dream. Poor guy. Alright, what's this tool look like? It's a perfectly good metric left-handed spanner that's been bent out of shape. Let's see. I don't think we can do anything with there. Can we fix can we fix this thing? Can we use this to fix it? I can't use these things together. Oh. I just thought maybe we could. Don't think there's anything else I can do with this right now. Um, let's go ahead and use this elevator. I've got to use this elevator. Oh, okay. Use elevator. If the game can tell me to use the elevator, it should just let me use the elevator. I don't know. That's my opinion. How do we get over there? How do I get over there? Was there another exit I wasn't aware of? Hmm. Can I throw Max over there? I can't use these things together. Hmm. Let's talk to Max. Are you as confused as I am? More so. Oh, bye, Smer Smersenberg. Have a good day. Thanks for showing up. All right, what do we got here? Why is this game called Car Bomb, anyway? To avoid getting the pants suit off us. That's a good point. But you don't wear any pants. Don't remind me. I don't think I have anything I need to ask Max about. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Well, that's all. Let's see. Have we... We picked up Car Bomb, but we never used it. What's it do? Oh, this is just Battleship, isn't it? This is bat. I- Are we playing Battleship now? We playing Battleship with Max, okay. <laughs> we'll just park all our cars here, there we go. I should not have put that there, let's, let's put him here. There. Alright, how do we start? Who's setting up your half of the board, doofus? Oh. Oh, we have to use these two? Okay. Let's pop it all Whenever you're ready, take a shot. All right, I'm ready. Um, here. Hit. Nice. Miss. Oh, I got your number. Miss. Dang. Miss. Okay, we still got this. Miss. Dang it. Okay, it's vertical then. Hit. Oh, no. Uh-oh, we gotta hurry up. Hit. Okay, we're, we're doing- we're doing it. Miss! We got this. Hit! You squished my squad Oh yeah! Hit! Uh-oh. 
we gotta find another one. Uh, here? Miss! Dang it! Hit! You destroyed my soul. This is- this is no good. Miss! This is real bad. Miss! Oh boy, that was close. We have to find the other ones. Miss! Dang it! Hit! Oh, crud. Miss! Miss! Ooh, okay, I guess this is another chance at least. Um, this looks like a good spot. Hit! Nice! Oh, yeah! Miss! Alright, come on. Hit! You torched my taxi! Nice! Hit! Okay, where, where else? Here? Hit! Oh, look at this! Hit! Okay, come on, come on. Miss! Dang it! Hit! Mm. You hurt my hearse! Miss! Miss! Okay, so it's gotta be horizontal. Hit! There we go. Miss! Hit! Oh gosh, it could be Miss. either side now. Um, um, here. Hit! You killed my horse! Nice! Okay, we still got the lead on him. Hit! You bombed my bomb. Oh boy. This is where things get tense. This seems like a good spot. Hit! Yeah! Hit! Uh oh. Uh oh. He's caught up. Miss! Miss! Whoo! Um. Miss! Dang it. Could've sworn it would've been vertical. Miss! It's horizontal then. Is this... How long Miss. is this one? Hit! Ooh. Hit! Oh boy. You crushed my cab! Oh no, this is bad news. Hit! Of course you realize this means war. Oh! Miss! What, what was that? Miss! 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 What? Hit! Oh! Miss. So that's like a nuke. Miss. Hit. Miss. I'm so confused. Hit. You totaled my trailer. Got it. Hit. Yeah, he's about to kill us. Um, uh, can we use a nuke over here? Here. Miss. 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 Mm. Miss. Oh no. Miss. Oh boy. Miss. Oh, that's bad. Hit. We're 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 boned. We've lost. We can't come back from this. Miss. Miss. Oh. Hit. Oh. You bounced my butt. <gasps> I, I win. I did it. We did it, everyone. We're the best. How do I get out of here? How do I... How do I get out of here? How do I leave? How, how do... How do I stop playing the game? <laughs> uh... Lord, I'm tired of this drivel. Okay, it was escape. Okay, good. Alright. I, I think there's gonna be some trick to getting to this side, because I don't know what else the heck we're supposed to do here. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So they get f fresh fish flown in daily. So maybe we can hijack that shipment and get over there. Which seems kind of roundabout, but what else can you do? Let's see. Get to the DeSoto. All right, fresh fish. It's world of fish. World of fish. 
What do we got Fish here? Fish feed. Hmm. I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. Can we get one of these buckets? Oh, hold on. Oh, there comes the helicopter. There he is. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. He's just picking up the fish. Wow. Amazing. Spectacular. It's a bucket of fish. Actually, Sam, it's a slimy bucket of fish. I wonder if this will in any way shape our thoughts on today's lunch. Hmm. Alright, let's grab one of these buckets. You never know when a bucket of fish will come in handy. What a hunk of filet. I'm naming it Bubbles. It's a big fish net. I can see that. What about this fella here? What's going on here? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm risking pneumonia standing in this creek. That's what's going on. Uh-oh. What do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. Oh no. What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. I don't know who that is. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus? No, I try not to listen to country music. When I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of beer and do illegal things to farm animals. Oh no. You too? You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. Oh, that's very... very apt for today's society. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. Don't move. Alright, what's this here? That's a large fiberglass fish. Hmm. Hmm. The fish appears to be held in place by a hard-to-reach bolt. Hmm. What do we have? Can we use this? Did, did that work? That did the trick. Okay. It, oh, in we go. It's kind of wobbly in here. Okay, but now what? It's still a large fiberglass fish. Okay, but why are we in the water? I mean the fish. I can't pick that up. Hmm. What do we do? Hold on. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. Don't think this is going to help us. I can't use these things together. It's still a large fiberglass fish. How about the thing under it? It's still a no. large fiberglass fish. Can I use Max on it? Hey Max, climb in this fish. You first. Oh, okay. There we go. It's kind of wobbly in here. Hey Max, come here. Get in here, Max. We're fishmen. Geronimo! Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh, no! Oh, it's the big one! It's the big one! It's huge! 
one must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. There he this is. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. Holy trout. I'd always thought you were made of plaster. Oh, we got it. We're doing it. Oh, we're gonna be fished. We're gonna be fished. We're getting fished. It's happening. It's happening. He's dead. We killed him. Now what do we do, Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. We're going for a ride. Come on, pick me up. Here we go. That's a powerful helicopter to pick up that big old fish. Oh. Oh. And that's how you get to the other side. He's going to need a bigger knife. I told you I had a plan. Okay, what can we interact with here? I mean, I guess the only thing we can really do is just head on in here. Uh. Oh, no. Max, get out of the way. Oh, wait. I remember why we're here. I really think we need that loose end, Sam. All right, no problem. We'll just use Max. Hey, Max. I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. There we go. We'll get it in no time. Got it. See? That wasn't so bad. What are you two doing uh oh, out here? he's got the big knife. Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. They're probably dead now. Oh no, they're fine. Leo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. Here it is. We got the car. Okay, where is the uh, the twine? Did we get the twine? Is this it? It's 91 yards of twine. There we go. Got it. Hey, look, look at this. I don't think he'd want that. So 91 yards of twine. How much are they paying you anyway? I'm a volunteer, but they let me sleep here and I get all the twine I can eat. So how can I help you? What would you do if someone cut off, say, 94 yards of the ball? We'd shoot them, skin them, and sell them as jerky treats. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That'll be all for now. Uh-oh. This sign tells me more than I really want to know about this monstrosity. Alright, so we might have... we might have... We might have trimmed off a few pieces of the, uh, of the twine. We might have taken away its title of the world's largest ball, but, um... Don't worry about it. Let's not worry about it. We only took 91, you're right. But... 
all that to get some twine. Now what? Now what? <laughs> um... Burger t I guess we can go to another- d Wait, didn't that mole man want almond-flavored candy? Let's head into Snucky's here. I had no idea cacti were so festive. Let's see, anything on the floor? Nope. Maybe this Snucky sells al almond candy. I don't see any. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max dress-up books. Uh, I, I guess. I gotta go to the bathroom. Again? Oh, hey, Bernard. I gotta go to the bathroom. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? Okay, I want to buy uh, the dress-up game. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? Uh, That'll did... be all. Oh, yep. Anything else? Yes, did you see the Squatch? Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Oh. Anything else? Max has to go to the bathroom. My little buddy has to use the facilities. Here's the key. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? All right, let's see if we can meet meet Max outside. You have no idea how often I hear that. Let's go. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh, I heard the toilet. Uh, how do I talk to him? Wait, no! Max. Oh. Okay. I blew it. I didn't know what to do. I guess I should have talked to him. Oh, man. Here's your key back. Oh, man. Well. Can I leave and re-enter? Well, it doesn't matter, really, because there's a third burger, so we might as well go and do it there. Oh, look at that shrimp. It's the mother of all crawdads. Alright, let's try this again. What we got here, though? I gotta go to the bathroom. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max paint-by-number books. Oh, might as well buy it, too. You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. All Snuggy U graduates have completed courses in excessive and unwarranted cheerfulness. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I would like to purchase this. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? All right, bathroom time. Everybody has to use the facility. Here's the key. You need some... I think I can... Now. All right, let's go. Nothing. You have... All right, come on. We got it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. This is it. This is the time. All right, do I have to talk to him? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Max. Hey, little buddy. What? Let's see. There it is. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. Got it! Oh yeah! How come I don't get any inventory? Where would you keep it? It's none of your damn business, Sam. Well, that's all. Don't forget to get the candy in the second shelf. There's candy in here? Hold on. Let's see. Cause that's what I need. I need the almond candy. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. Maybe this shelf. Up top, let's see. 
It's a box of pecan flavored candies. That's what we needed. Pecan, right? Not not almond. It doesn't matter. We got it. Let's 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 buy it. Hey, nice hat. We all get one when we graduate, Snucky you. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I would like to purchase this candy. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That's it. We're leaving now. All. Anything else? That's all we need it. Now we can go back to the mole man. You have no idea how often I hear that. All right. Let's go visit that mole man, give him the candy, and we'll get we'll get the info we need. Everything we need. I'm back. All right, where was he again? The hall, uh, the I was about to call it the Hall of Love, the Tunnel of Love. All right, let me in there. Let's ride the TOL again. You insist? Let's see. Do we have? Oh, good. It takes us directly here. All right. Let's give him the candy. Put cyanide in the candy. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. The god's my favorite. Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Oh, oh. Can you reach it? There you go. That wait, that's a that's a crowbar. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait. I've got a great story you should hear. No. <sighs> Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. Okay. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Oh. Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. How nice of her. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. What a great time. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno was free. Poor Trixie. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cave. But Flambe said he never spoke with Trixie. Uh-oh. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. Flambe was covering it up. Hell of a story, ain't it? Let's go confront Flambe. I'm not gonna use the crowbar on him. <laughs> so why is there like a giant Satan over the Tunnel of Love? That's kind of weird. All right, Flambe. I know the truth. Hey, flame boy. Yes? That must hurt. It does. Is there anything else I can do for you? How'd Trixie talk you into freeing Bruno? She charmed me with her feminine wiles. She also promised to pay me 20 bucks. Hmm. That seems like a good deal. Eh. Uh, good. All right, let's go open Trixie's trailer, now that we have the key. All right, let's see. Just what we needed, and let's pop her open. Hey, Max, come here. What? Watch this. Well, Got it. This is undignified. Oh, look at all this oh, stuff. Boy. 
Is that rice? Ooh, they're genuine Scrantonese potions of fertility. Let's take them. Good idea. I don't think we should oh. risk being any more fertile than we already are, Max. That's a good point. I can't pick that up. What else we got in here? We gotta find clues. It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. Oh, what's this? It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Roomy Eyes, Florida. Ooh. Trixie like to golf. It's a hope chest. I hope it's filled with more gold than my poor eyes can stand. Let's see what we got in here. Hey, there's a neat costume in here. What? What kind of costume is this? Give me the scoop. It's a still walker's costume. Okay. That's a disquietingly tall bed. How can you say disquietingly with a straight face, Sam? It's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. It's reassuring to know that the carnival is still out there. I think that's all we really needed. So let's head to that golf course. Might as well. All right, how do we get out of here? Uh, what's the quickest way? This is not the quickest way, but it's too late. We're already going. Let's see. All right, off to Florida. I can't imagine anyone willingly going to Florida, but here, here we are. This would look great in our office. All right, what we got here? Dunk the beast. It's closed? It's about time they closed this senseless, cruel, politically incorrect attraction. It was my favorite. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. Huh. We got a little gripper. A little, little grip grabber. It's a broken golf ball retriever. He's repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off of him. All right, what's he, what's he know? Not that I care, but what made you think of putting alligators and golf together? I didn't. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Oh, no. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with 10-foot-long gators. Oh, no. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. Clever. All right, let's ask him some questions. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Poor guy. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. Uh-oh. So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoots? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. Oh. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Oh, no. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. Acetylene torch? Protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. Hey, what about, what about Bumpus here? What do you think of Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus? He's my idol. Oh. I named all my kids and pets after him. I built a beer can shrine to him in the garage. I live for the day when I can meet him in person. Wow. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. 
Then we had that problem with the Jenkins kid. Jenkins? Of course, made me destroy my best gator over that. Oh, no. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? Hmm, I've got an inexplicable urge to buy some suitcases. Don't even joke about it, city boy. Uh-oh. Okay, that's enough of him. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? Let's go check out the Gator Golf. I'm ready to golf me some Max, gators. Let's go. And the proprietor huh. has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? They're here. That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. Mm. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Oh. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Oh. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. Oh. Oh. There they go. They're going at it. It's a golf club. Hold still, you flea bitten pole cat. Oh, dang. He's he's tough. Uh -oh. Here you go, boss. There he goes. He's been dunked. What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. Get me the hell out of here! Well, now we gotta get Max out of there. Uh, what do we got? It's a bucket of golf balls. What do we got to work with golf here? clubs. Gators. Uh, windmill. I hate country music! It's Max. Hey, Max. What? You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Hmm. Max doesn't seem too concerned with his current situation. Well, that's all. Four! All right, let, let's try to make use of this stuff. All right, we got, we got some golf balls. Maybe I should have something to hit first. Okay, I'll, I, I agree with this. Let's, let's pop down some golf balls. I'm scared, Sam. All right, hold your horses. Right, so let's do a swing. And swing. Come on. Come on. There it goes. I dunked him. Hey. Oh. Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, let's hit some gators. Okay, that didn't that did not have an effect. <laughs> let's hit the gator on the right side then. I assume I have to hit the gators to move them, or not? Hmm. Hmm. What's our goal here? Is there any benefit to hitting these gators? Hit the windmill? I guess I can try. Let me try hitting this windmill. Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. Oh, nothing. Hmm.
Not with a golf ball, so I need to move them. Let's see. Can't look at them. What do I have here? Oh, wait, I have fish. Would this help? I hate country music! You know what? It would help, wouldn't it? Let's go fishing. There we go. Yes, it's still alive, don't worry. There we go! Let's get all these gators in a line. Don't think he was supposed to go that far. Um, try that again. Okay, good. Let's get the other one in place. Here he comes. Okay, now we're a little more lined up, I think. Um, is that lined up enough? Can we go from here? I'm not even sure what the ideal arrangement would be. Not like that. Do we go now? Hmm. Okay, no, we need to realign things some more. Okay, no problem. He goes automatically when it's set? Okay, that's good to know. Let's give it a quick smack. Sam? I am uncertain. That doesn't seem right. That does not seem correct. Okay, that seems a little better. Now I think we just have to line up this fellow right here, and then we should be okay. What are we trying to accomplish? We're trying to save Max. Hmm, that didn't quite work. Make it from here? Nope. That one's not aligned properly. Alright, we'll just have to try and realign them. Let's see, what can we do? Nice alligators. Do you like roaches? How can we line this fellow up? Not right. We move him further along and then pop him into place? Nope, not quite. Huh. Can we just get him way out of the way and then put him in the correct position? That's not quite it either. This is tricky. Oh, hell. Hey, you've made a path across the driving range. I didn't think that would even work. 
Okay. There we go. Geez, that certainly took long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Hmm. Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? There we go. Whee! All right, let's see what we can it's do here. Target. You suck, Sam. Rude. I can't use these things together. I guess we could use the rope, maybe? That's hair. I don't think he'd want that. No, I want to toss it up in there. Can I retrieve him with this? I don't think he'd want that. No. I can't use these things together. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's even easier. Hey, Sam! Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in Mange in the booth. Ooh. While I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there, in that horrible booth, waiting. That sounds like a clue. Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay, here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's none of your business, Sam. Alright, got some more fur. What do we got here? Can we, can we go in there? I want to go in here. Ooh, secrets. Uh, is it secrets? It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Gold Wump, Washington. Oh, there we go. Let me see. Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Why like would this, this? Why would the snow globe be empty? Yeah. Why would you empty a snow globe? What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavul the Mole Man. Hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. There we go, give me control back. Okay, real quick before we go anywhere, I, I, I have to I have to take a gamer pee break. I have to take a gamer pee break, so give me give me like give me 60 seconds. I'm gonna pee, I'll be right back. I promise. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Man, hoo wee! Oh, I had oh that was ooh that that had to happen. Hachi machi. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, let, let's go to the, the the Cindy vortex cortex vortex over here. Sam, this place is making my head ping. That's probably just the metal plate in your head. Did I see Max on the way there? No, nope. Unfortunately not. What do we got here? What's all this nonsense? Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do! I think they're controlled by a series of really big magnets under the Earth's crust. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. Who put a, to a porta potty up here? Good lord! It's a possessed outhouse! This kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. Mystery Vortex. Oh, this is the place. Let's see. Oh, ooh, what's that? Can we use that? Nope. Oh well. 
I just wanted to turn off the turn off the faucet. Here we are. Let's see. Hmm. Something seems off about this place. It's a player piano. Don't play it again, Sam. Got a few doors. Can we head in there? It's a small door. Can Max go in here? I can't use these things together. Nope. Can 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 just pop I'd in? I'd never fit through it. All right. What about this one? I'd never fit through it. What about Max? I can't use these things together. Okay. Well, that's just an idea. Got an eight ball. An eight ball. I see it. I can't pick that up. Hmm. Ooh, mirror. Oh, that's grody. What? Oh no. That's a mirror. That's disturbing. Can we go up here? The seamy underbelly of water. Hmm. Ooh, I bet I can fit in here now, though. Let's go. Um. I may... can't reach the doorknob. Never mind. We cannot fit in there. Oh boy. I can't reach the doorknob. All right. Well, those doors are out of the question. Let's head back here. Yipes. Oh. Gravity's taken a holiday and lost its luggage. Oh, no. That's not what I'm about to lose. I think I'm gonna throw up. This is hurting Go my brain. Down. Whatever. This is hurting my eyes. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh. I see a melted... It's another tuft of Sasquatch hair and mange. Melted ice cube. My rabbity senses tell me that this is not Bruno's hair and mange. Or maybe I'm in love. Well, might as well take it. Bigfoot. Mini Vortex. Museum gift shop. Looks like all the blood went to her head years ago. Well, might as well have a quick chat. Stealth gib to Oba Wonk Oi Odd Ta. I'm upside down, cutie, not dyslexic. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a Bigfoot. You too? I used to have a Bigfoot in that black of ice over there. Yesterday, I stepped out to have my spine recompressed, and when I got back, he was gone. It's been happening a lot lately. Spine recompression. Cool. Do you know who Conroy Bumpus is? Yes, and he was here looking for a Bigfoot. Then he got sick and had to leave. This place seems to have that effect on people. Hmm. Now what about this Do thing? Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. With every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. So we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. I guess this means you don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. Oh, I didn't even realize it was missing a stopper. Are you feeling as mentally unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off in a few hours. I feel like my sense of reality has just exploded. Try cutting down on cholesterol. Don't you get tired of always hanging around here? I'm fine as long as I keep denying the urge to fall or jump. We'll be back. Back, front, it's all the same to me. Alright, so... Can we use this mini vortex? Can we try the vortex? Step right in. Get in here.
Oh. Um, hold on. Let me use this. The problem is we don't have a stopper. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo-mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. Oh, maybe it's still good. Is it still good? Hey, it's empty. Dang! We don't have anything that works as a stopper, do we? Urgh. We're gonna need to find a bottle or something, then. Alright, we're gonna have to find a stopper. Use Max as a stopper. I don't think that'll work. Let's see. Where have I... Have I seen a bottle anywhere? Damn it. Hoping I'd be able to get in there. Have I seen... Plug it with hair? I don't think that'll work. We're not gonna fit in any of these. Let's see. Where can we find a bottle stopper? Why are they just staring? I wonder if these things spin the other direction in Australia. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah, kind of have to click up here. That's a little weird. Okay, where the heck can we get a stopper? You think any of the burger burger places have snow globes? I don't see any. No, that's a waste of time. Let's not even bother with that. Maybe you can buy a bottle? That's what I'm thinking. We can probably get a bottle somewhere. What's this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Um. Oh. Uh, um. What's... I can jump? Oh, and I can change lanes. What, what, why are we doing this? I, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, what, what are we accomplishing? Are, are we getting points for jumping them? Oh, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Level one. Get 11 bonus seconds. On le well, what's, what are we doing? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Okay, I guess I'm getting points for jumping over them, maybe? But why did we decide to do this? I just clicked on the thing, I didn't know what it would do. I mean, I'm getting points? Okay, um, maybe we don't need to do that no more. How do I get... How do I escape? I don't know how to stop doing this. <laughs> I don't know how to stop. I pressed escape, but it didn't do nothing. Oh boy. I already pressed escape. Maybe if I keep smashing these signs, it'll let me leave. The problem is I keep making it to the finish line. Maybe we just have to keep going till we lose, but I sure wish we could lose now. Press the dug button? I don't have that on my keyboard. How do I... Oh, boy. I can't see... I'm trying to smash into it now, but it's not working. 
Oh god, we keep surviving! I can press space to pause. I don't want bonus sec- sec-, sec, sec seconds. Don't give me any more bonus seconds. Oh! Those are real low down. That'll make it real easy. There we go. There we go. Losing time. Losing time. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, they're changing. They're going up and down now. Oh, damn it. We made it with enough time. Gah. We have to find out a way to lose quicker. Oh. Damn it. Come on. Why is it so hard to lose? Losing should be the easy part. Oh, man. Come on, come on, keep losing that time. Oh, damn it! No, I don't want to keep surviving! <laughs> oh, God. Q quits? Thank you, Twin Zens. Oh, God. Okay, never doing that again. <laughs> okay, uh, we need a stopper. Let's check back at headquarters. Oh, look, the cat is wearing an eye patch now. Hey, cute little kitty with a mangled eye. How are you today? Meow? Oh. Is that all you can say? That one doesn't talk. Meow, meow! I guess he just slipped through the cracks of our public school system. Poor guy. Let's see. Can we get these the beer bottles from these pigeons? I'd rather not handle those winged rats. Yeah, I don't blame you. Can Max eat the pigeons? Nah, Max would just see how many of them he could stuff into his gaping maw. That's what I want him to do. Maybe we can get something from Bosco's. Jeez, Bosco. Aren't you ever gonna clean up this mess? Oh, right. We, like, murdered a man in there. Let's not worry about that. Do we have a bottle in the office? Hmm, this guy's still here, huh? Guess he had it coming to him. I don't think... Yeah, there's no bottles in here. Okay, well, I, I knew I got most of the crap in here, though, so that's fine. Mm, I thought maybe I could find a bottle or something. Oh, my cat's gone. There's a hole here. But we can't really interact with it, can we? Nope, doesn't really let us interact with it. Yeah, see, it... the eye lights up because we're hovering over the car as opposed to that hole. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here. Alright, that's fine. Just thought I'd check. Where are we gonna get a stopper? It's an empty snow globe without a stopper. It's a large, sturdy Snuckies cup. It's a broken golf ball retriever. It's a nifty flashlight equipped with a black light. It's a still walker's costume. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Rumi Eyes, Florida. It's a rasp. 
It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. Yeah, I don't have anything that would work as a stopper, so we... Mole Man? We, we already talked to the Mole Man, though. Why do we need to talk to the Mole Man again? Because we, cause we gave him the candy. What other Mole Man? Other Mole Man? There was another Mole Man? How am I forgetting this so quickly? Uncle Mole Man. At the Vortex. Hmm. Oh, right! Right, there was a Mole Man. The problem is finding him. Let's see. Can we just go in this mirror? Oh, okay. I didn't think we can go in there. I told you this place was controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. Lucky guess. All right. Let's see what we got here. Giant magnets under the Earth's crust. It's a big magnet. Can we turn it off? Okay, not sure. Clicked off the window. Not sure why we did that. We might as well just turn them all on. I don't see a problem with that. Okay, so that probably changed something on the surface now that we have them all on. So let's go take a look. Yeah, this- that was the control room that, um, controls the endings for Mass Effect 3. I wonder if that has something to do with the size changing. It didn't change anything out here. Yeah, I, I'm sure I need to have them in a specific order for one reason or another. It doesn't look like it changed my size. Hmm. Well, we might as well just pop back in there and just keep dinking around with it. Now, are these all still on? They are. Okay, so it's definitely a matter of getting this all in the right, uh... You know, the right... the right configuration. So what if we just have the red one on, and we turn off... The I can't talk to that. No, don't talk. Pull it. So if we just have the red one on, what effect would that have? Let's see. Does it change my size so I can fit in here? Oh, I think it did! Stop turning your head inside out, Max. I can't! Let's leave. Okay, so that's not the door we want. Let's see, can we squeeze... I, I assume it's gonna be a I'd never fit through it. One light per door, so let's let's try another one. Hi, Ambrosia. Thanks for showing up. Alright, let's try a different combo. We'll turn off red and turn on blue. I wonder if this is a color mixing thing, and I'm not seeing it. Because cause they're primary colors, so... I don't remember if there was a blue door up here. 
See, that's not blue. That's not any color. You know what? I'm gonna try to make it green, like you said, T.W. Croc. Let's try it. Actually, is that... Is, is that door we saw, was that door orange? I could have sworn that one door looked orange. Let's try to do orange. Yellow? I don't know about that. Because right now it's orange. Let me just run out and see if orange makes it work. And if that doesn't work, then I'll try yellow. Oh, I think I was right. Think I was right. I'm becoming a ball of intellect. Oh no. Let's hightail it out of here before we lose our corporeal bodies forever. Okay, good to know. So what are the others? So there's a green door, and then... And what's the other one? There's a white door. I guess we'll try white now. I thought I had white before, because white is every color. But maybe I just didn't try to go in? I don't know. Because white is going to be every color on at the same time. Alright. Let's see if we can get in that white door. You're probably right, Sir... 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 Regulus. I probably did something stupid like that. Let's see what happens if we go into white. There we go. Stop turning your head inside out, Max. I can't. Let's leave. All right. So now we just gotta do green. I wonder if it's a case where the last one you try is always the correct one. It's probably the case. That would make sense to me. At least we figured out the puzzle. Alright, so if we turn off red, we should be able to make green. There we go. Alright, to the green door. I wish he moved a little faster in this part, but he's changing sizes. Come on, Max. Where's that duck? Oh, there's the moleman. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We bust punks. And we're overachievers. That's cool, man. I'm Shavul. What do you want with me? Hey, Sam, look! Where we... Oh, well, delicious. Well, bottled water is a real letdown. Alright, so... We want to pick your brain. Ooh, ooh, let me pick it, Sam. Tell me about the Sasquatch. What do you know about Bruno? Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. Why do people keep asking that question? Bruno and I go way back. I've always felt a special kinship with Bigfoots. I feel the same way about pointy sticks. Shh. I haven't thought about Bruno for years. Allow me a moment to karmically link myself to him. You're gonna Have do you what? Lost. Whoa! Hold on. I'm getting something. 
Oh. I see Frog Rock Frog. between Mount Badrich and the world's largest stump. Wait, man. Bruno's in trouble. Oh, no. It's like several voices screaming out in terror and then suddenly silenced. Sorry, guys, but I can't get a clear psychic image of Bruno. The sad truth is that I haven't been able to concentrate very well since I lost my mood ring in the biggest ball of twine in the world. If you find it for me, maybe I can help you. Oh, but we need to get a mood ring. Could you repeat that bit about your missing mood ring again? Okay, man. I lost it in the biggest ball of twine in the world. I think he's trying to tell us something, Sam. All right, that's pretty straightforward. One, two, three. What are we fighting for? Just checking. What's with all the newspaper clippings? I'm collecting evidence of bizarre paranormal phenomena, man. Like the inexplicable staying power of professional wrestling? Mm. Right on, man. It's my belief that all the mysterious goings-on in the world, UFOs, striped toothpaste, two-headed squirrels, Dan Quayle, etc., are all somehow connected by a seemingly invisible cosmic thread of interdependency. I had that once, but then my parents kicked me out of the house and told me to find a job. Doug says hi. That karmic waste of space? Oh, no. I bet he still spends his days zoned out in front of the TV watching crummy reruns. Oh, he yeah, does. Yeah, but now he's got cable. All right, now we know what we need to do. Well, I guess that's all for now. Make yourself at home. Let's see what we got here. Water bottle. Water ball. I'm sure there's something interesting in there. All right, well, let's pop it open. Don't touch that. Oh. No problem. Mm -hmm. He looks like a health conscious version of Doug. The astonishing exclusive details of Insect Lad's honeymoon tragedy. Okay, well, we need to go to the world's biggest ball of yarn, and we need to go ahead and try to get his mood ring. I have no idea how we're going to find it, but we'll figure something out. If I can get out of here. Alright, let's see. Ball of yarn. Twine. I meant twine. I'm stupid. Don't worry about me. Okay, so we're gonna have to ride our way up there, I believe. <laughs> and we go. Take a leg, Max. He said, in, not on. Yeah, I, I caught that, too. Oh, shit. I think you guys are right, actually. Let's not go up there. Let's go inside. Oh, it's gonna be quite a walk. Here we go. Okay, so let's see. What if we used this with the hand? Oh. It's a broken golf ball retriever with a severed hand attached to it. Okay, I guess that's what it is. I see it. Uh oh. It didn't quite reach well, it. Well, that was useless. Yeah, sort of like those tax forms we keep finding in our mailbox. Alright, we're gonna have to try something else. Let's see. It's a broken golf ball retriever with a magnet attached to it. 
But where did Jesse James's hand go? We'll never know. Oh, it's still there. Got it. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. Alright, got the ring. Let's go back to Shavul. Okay. Now we should be able to get a good sidekick link on on uh, Bruno, and then we'll know where the heck we're going. Onward and forward. I hope the white the white magnet light is still on, so we can just pop right on in. Green green magnet light. You know what I meant. Come on, Max. Hurry it up. You're back. And we're bigger than a bread box. Three bread boxes, even. What do you want now? Oh, we got the ring. Is this your ring? Cool, man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? No, but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Mm. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Here, samples? I don't have a sample. Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Oh, I got Three that. Of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait! You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. Ew. Must be joking. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Wait, do I want... I don't know if I want whatever you're... you're offering. What? Here what? you oh. go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. Thanks. Let's go, Max. But I don't know where Frog Rock is. Oh no. How am I gonna find the Frog Rock? Frog Rock. Hmm. Hey, you think that fisherman is still dead? Oh, he's fine. He survived, everyone. Boo! Don't do that. Don't move. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he was good. Um, hmm. Frog Rock. We're gonna need to find- we're gonna need to find some kind of souvenir. Since that seems to be how we find all these other landmarks. Hmm. Frog Rock. Don't think there's anything here I particularly need. Or that would get me closer to Frog Rock. Nothing I can offer this guy. Binocul- That's a good idea, Warp Track. We can try that. Let's give that a shot. Let's see if the binoculars are any good to us. On. Take a leg, Max. Oh, 
All right, let me in. Let's see. No, I don't see anything. I could be looking right at Frog Rock, but everything's too tiny. Oh. Okay, we have a clue now. Do we have anything that can make something look bigger? It's an empty snow globe without a stopper. No. Oh, we need a magnifying glass or something. Hmm. We need a way to make things look bigger. The telescope? What telescope? I don't have one. It's a large, sturdy Snuckies cup. It's a nifty flashlight equipped with a black light. It's the Sam and Max dress-up book. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. I could be looking right at Frog Rock, but everything's too tiny. Yeah, I need some way to magnify... ...magnify stuff, so that's probably what we need. Magnification. So what items do we have that we could use... ...to get some new junk? We're gonna need a new item. But where can we go to find something new? Well, let's, let's, let's poke around. Let's see what we can find. Magnify, magnify. Hmm. Let's stop at home real quick, just to have a quick look about. Kind of wish I had those beer bottles from that, one of those funny ducks up there. Don't think I can do much with that though, unless. I don't think he'd want that. Oh, thought I was being clever. Hmm. 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 There's probably nothing here. There's no reason for us to be back at home. Let's check a few other spots so we might have not looked around enough. Places that could have a magnifier. Magnifier. Did we look at everything in the gift shop here? I don't remember if we finished looking at everything in the gift shop. Can't look at that, can't look at that, can't look at any of that. It's nothing here. Okay, so it's not here. Confirmed, not here. Which means it's probably not gonna be in, in this area at all. Okay, so it's not in the, the funny mixed up, mix up world. I forgot what this, this attraction is called. Right. Mm. 
trying to think. Do we know anyone who has something that would work as a magnifier? Nothing here. Can I get everything inside of here? Oh boy! Yeah, there's nothing else in here, so pretty sure I cleared this room. There's nothing else in here. Okay, good to know. Let's see. He doesn't have anything magnetic. Magnetic. Magnif. Magnifiic. How do I. Where'd I go? Help. Help, I'm lost. There we go. Yeah, we, yeah, Flambe didn't seem too concerned with being called out on it. Let's see. Maybe, um... Let's ride the TOL again. Maybe the you Mole insist. Man here has it. He has a lot of stuff. The problem with the lost and found is we need a ticket. Let's see what we got. Couch is Sputus in his native habitat. Doug! Huh? Are you sure there's nothing more you can tell us about Bruno? I've told you all that I know. You should really talk to my uncle, Shavuul. We're not going to get anything I think out of that's him. all for now. Fine. You can find your own way out. Anything else we can interact with here? No. Okay. I don't think it's here then. Okay. Fishbowl magnifying lens. Uh, My head's already shaped like a fishbowl. Okay. I definitely would have thought, would not have thought to look at that, but okay. Got it. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right. Now that we got what we need, we will take care of finding Turtle Rock. All right, let me in. Shake a leg, Max. Frog Rock, you're right. the magnifier and pop it on the thing okay I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars all right let's find that rock some rain there's a stomp There's a tire fire. There's some, uh, I don't know. 
as plaid. There's some rain. Hmm. Can we flip this thing around? No. Nerds, this restaurant's rotating too fast for me to get a beat on Frog Rock. Okay, we gotta slow this place down. Max, um, sh should you be holding those? I'd better put these wires back first. I, I, I was actually just trying to... I was trying to have Max do I something with this. I can't use these things together. Okay, um, that's weird. I was not expecting to just grab those. I can't use these things together. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. So why are we grabbing them? speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I agree with Max. Uh, maybe not. It's not that weird. I, I get okay. Let's let's do it. All right. Let's slow this down. Uh, how do we slow it down? Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh boy. Okay, very slow rotation now. Oh, hold on, what's that? It's the inexplicable, it's the inexplicable valley of lights. Okay, I see. It's a rock. Hmm. That's the enchant that's the enchanted Argyle Forest. Okay. It's a rock. Why, it's the eternal plane of acid rain. It's not what we're looking for. It's a rock. And we're finding plenty of rocks. Hmm. The largest stump in the world. It's a rock, and it's between the two things Shavul said it was between. Mm. It must be Frog Rock. Found it. All right. I think I can see Frog Rock. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, on to Frog Rock. Here we go. There we go. Where's my walking feet? There they are. Alright, now we know exactly where Frog Rock is. We just gotta be there. Must be the legendary rock. This doesn't look like a frog at all. My innocence has been shattered by this blatant tourist trap. Oh, I no. want my money back. We didn't pay anything. Well, somebody better give me some money. All right, let's perform the ritual. One. Ew. That's gross, Sam. And the third sample. Ew. 
And now the Molman powder. Well? Wait for it. Sure gets dark quickly around here. I don't think this is a natural occurrence, Max. In fact, I think we're witnessing a celestial convergence of some sort. Do you think it'll make that rock look more like a frog? Oh. It's the aliens! They're here! Oh, no! Uh... Okay. Bumpus, Phil. This means something, Sam. I guess we're going to Bumpusville. It still doesn't look much like a frog. All right. Onward. Oh, wow. It's a Conroy world after all. If we ever get this rich and famous, I want you to shoot me, Sam. It'll be a pleasure. I wonder if Conroy's a member of Good Sam Club. Bumpusville. Hmm, what a place. Look at that fancy fountain. What else we got here? We got a well. Can I jump in the well? A wishing well. I wish I had absolute power to decide who lives and who dies. I think we'd need a bigger well. Alright, well, let's head on in. If the lead is in. Oh, wow. Cripes. Hey, Max, take a look at this. It's titled Me, Myself, and I. Hey, you learned how to read. This painting's like a car wreck. I can't stop staring at it. Or well, this is It's trophies. a gold record for Bumpus's. Heaven's just like Texas, except that there's no taxes. Conroy's first eight track tape. Flush down the toilet of love. Is somebody there? It's a macro hard maintenance droid. I can't talk to it, can I? I can't talk to that. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. It's the platinum record Bumpus got for Let's Drink Beer and Shoot Things. It's a gold record for Conroy's breakthrough hit. Two-fisted, beer-drinking, gun-toting, hard-loving, fast-driving, country-western liverpudlian. Liverpudlian? Howdy, partners. I'm Conroy Bumpus, and welcome to Bumpusville. Feel free to wander the mansion, but for Pete's sake. Okay. Ooh, look at all this junk. Genuine imitation American style chest. Not intended for any kind of use. A great addition for your genuine imitation American collection. Home shopping. Definitely. Well, I guess that means it doesn't open. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. It's a portrait of John Muir. Say, Sam, just who is John Muir? Who's John Muir? Uh-oh. Hey, guys, this dope doesn't know who John Muir is. You gotta be kidding! What a maroon! What a dib cow poo. Sam, the dead animal heads are talking to me. Where? Up there! Well? But... You really shouldn't tell fibs about dead animals, Max. Poor Max. But... Stop bugging me. I'm admiring this portrait of John Muir. But who's John Muir? Do you really want to know? If you'll stop talking, sure. Okay. Hit it, boys. There once was a man named John Muir. 
a naturalist, noble and pure. His love for all beasties. The most and the leasties. Has never been equaled. Uh... For sure! I'm very confused. Cripes, look at all the trophies. I think this bumpus goon is overcompensating for his lack of stature, Sam. Besides, I've got a lot more trophies than he does. Ooh, nice guitar. This is Conroy's first guitar. It says here that he practiced diligently for two weeks. Wow. Then gave it up and hired a backup band. That story warms the cockles of my heart. Cockles. So do car crashes. Can't interact with any of those. Let's head on in here. Bumpusville is proud to present the master of melody, the king of country, Mr. Entertainment, Conroy Bumpus. I hate floor shows. I remember my childhood in Brighton When dear old dad would bounce me on his knee He'd say, son, there ain't nothing as exciting as exposing beasts to inhumanity. That's why I'm... Well, we found them. Happy to be king of the creatures. I'm proud to be the lord of the old. I love collecting things with grotesque features. It makes me feel like some Chaldean god. Oh, I trapped my first tiger before I could speak. Killed me a bear when I was free. And now with this Bigfoot and giraffe neck freak, I finally have a full menagerie. Hit it, boys! Western Star. Thank you, thank you. Well, okay. <laughs> Your attention, please. Conroy Bubbis has left the building. Hmm. This looks like a problem. Looks like a keyhole to me. It's Bruno and Trixie. Hey, Bruno. <laughs> oh. Hey, Trixie. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, they can't talk. Um... Uh-oh. What in the name of Jethro Clampett's going on here? Um... Ouch! Knock it off! Well, that didn't work. And stay out! Well, we need a better strategy. Let's see what we can do. Let me in. Let's go this way. Ooh. Two different doorways. Ah, oh, crumbs, he's here. It's Conroy's thuggish henchman, Lee Harvey. Don't I know you? I don't know. You ever in the Pensacola camp for problem children? No. Well, that's where I spent most of the last ten years. So I don't see how we could have met. So, what's this Conroy Bumpus Yahoo really like? Has he got any deep, dark secrets we can exploit for monetary gain? Hey, don't be casting no aspirations toward Mr. Bumpus. He busted me out of the youth camp, gave me this high-paying 475 an hour job, 
taught me how to speak Swahili, found a baboon's heart for my sister's transplant operation, and he sings real pretty too. Oh, what a nice guy. How can you stand to work for someone who persecutes harmless beasts like Bruno the Bigfoot? Uh, on my feet? He's got you there, Sam. Don't you have any misgivings about hunting harmless freaks like Trixie? I did, but then I took a cup of aspirin. So, what's all this virtual reality equipment for? He has VR? The way I understand it, Mr. Bumpus uses a sophisticated virtual reality scenario to interface with the mansion security system. The devil, you say? The devil! The devil! Yeah, sometimes Mr. Bumpus lets me use the equipment. I pretend I'm over a hundred feet tall and everyone else is like ants and I just squish, 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 squish. We get the picture. You sure are one dedicated employee. Yep, yeah, that's me. Detonated. Detonated? Well, we'll be looking around ourselves. Don't get up. Fine. What you reading? Dial Linux by L. Rod Hubble. It's changing my life. Oh no. Don't ah, read that. Skip it. Let's see. Wait, don't go over there. I, I want to use the Hi. VR. What? Visitors ain't allowed to use Mr. Bumpus' state of the art virtual reality equipment. Oh. Scram. Okay. I won't use it. Let's. Get out of here. What's over here? Oh. Oh. Wow! It's Monster Truck Weekend! Happening every Sunday. Sunday! Sunday. Okay, I'm over the shock now. I'm not, but I'm sure my gentle naivete will survive. Alright, that's a nice truck. The best never rest. Ooh, what's this? It's one of Conroy's toupees. I'll have some of that. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, I just wanted a toupee. Hey, that hurts. Knock it off. And stay out. Well, that didn't work out. I don't think that was the best way to get the toupee, Sam. All right, let's see what else we can get done in here. Hmm, can we go up on the bed? Yep. Ooh, what's that? It's a pillow. And you, it's got miracle grow hair tonic all over it. Oh, no. Well, we might as well take it. Now, what are we going to use hair tonic for? Hair tonic. I don't know. We don't have a need for hair tonic. It's a macro hard maintenance droid. Anything I can do with that droid? I don't have anything that I could use for it. Can't talk to it. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Hmm. Is there anything I can get done in here? You know, I think you'd scare away fewer tourists if you added a little color to your wardrobe. Right, the whole Angel of Death look is out. Huh? No new options here, so there's no point in talking ah, to him it. again. I don't see what we can do in another part of this mansion. Come on. Okay, so not much we can do here. How do we get past this? Let's see. Bumpusville sings. Looks like a keyhole to me. 
I wonder if we have anything we can shove in this keyhole. I can't use these things together. That won't work. I missed the robot? No, it's not really letting me use it. Oops, too late. Was I supposed to use Max on it? I don't think he'd want that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I can't do anything with it while it's moving. I wouldn't know where to begin. Hmm. I wouldn't know where to begin. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. I assume there's something I can do with him later. But right now, not. Make the robot take the wig. Hmm. What if I got the wig dirty? It's Max. Oh, there we go. I can't use these things together. Let's see. Did I explore everything I could in here? Oh, wait. It's Max. Oh, that's just Max. Yeah, there's nothing in here, so let's get back out of here. Thanks for subscribing, Mario Swami. I appreciate that. Let's see. Looks like an official macro heart maintenance droid manual. If I had the slightest inclination to strain myself, I could probably reach it. Okay, we can take care of that. However, I'm sure I can drag this out into a longer yet more satisfying experience. You're probably right, Sam. Let's see. What you doing? Hang back, buddy, and observe my magic. Got it. Oh, oh, almost got it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh no. Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Oops. Hmm, let's see what it says here. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Fifteen hours later. Find out all you need to know? Maybe. I got a little lost in the troubleshooting chapter. Alright, so I guess now we know how to work the robot. Let's go see what we can do with it. Where'd it go? Well, there he is. Oh, he went over there. I guess we can wait for it to come back. I hope it comes back. Is it back yet? I miss the robot. I hope the robot comes back to me. I'm tired of waiting this for the- This is a completely unusable- There he is. Tired of waiting for the robot. This is a completely unusable oh, thingamabob. 
No, Max, get out of the way. Ugh. Not gonna be able to use it there. We just gonna have to follow it. Oops, too late. Now that I've read that ponderous manual, I can move the robot around like this. Like what? I'm impressed. That's nothing. Watch this. Help oh. Me, Sam and Max. You're my only hope. That was gratuitous. Sorry. This might be more useful. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a brain. Uh... Let's do that. I don't think the cute little robot wants to follow its new programming, Sam. I don't recall giving it a cute little choice. Oh, no. There it goes. There he goes. That's what I said. I'm ripe with anticipation. I thought I smelled something. Uh-oh. Big trouble. What the... Al Pavlovian. And you should know. I guess that means we have free reign of the VR now. Let's go take a look. Oh boy. Is it working? It's working. Here this we are. Is virtual reality. I may be sick. All right. It's a cheesy polygon sword. I'll take it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. There we go. Just what we needed. Let's go over here. Oh no. Oh no. Get him. Take that! Eat it! I did it. It's a key! How did this key materialize in the real world? What? Well, I am the key master. Does that come with a dental plan? I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here. Now! Okay, bye. Alright, we got what we need. Let's go pop this key in the thing. Alright. Key into keyhole. We did it! Whoa! He's buff as shit! Gee, thanks! Oh, 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 he's got a sturdy handshake well, there. Well, back to the circus with you. I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus. I'm not. Let's go, you big lug. Stay away from him, you malefactor. I'm not a malefactor. I'm a Lagomorph. Look, I'm not going back to the circus, and I'm late for a party. Oh, yeah, the Bigfoot party. Where is it? It's at Evelyn Morrison Savage Jungle in, in picturesque Half-Life, Nevada. Half-Life? Foots. And their dates? Only. Go. Might as well. I don't suppose I I don't suppose I can squeeze into this door, can I? Nope. Alright, then let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. 
We gotta get the Half-Life Nevada. Where'd we put that car? There it is. This place is tiki rific tiki rific Yeah, I feel immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. Savage Jungle Inn. Hmm. It's a miniature mighty volcano lending authenticity to this jungle motif. Neat. Looks like a gopher mound. Anything over here? Nope, that's as far as we can go. All right, well, let's, let's head in. I mean, I assume that's as far as we can go. Yep, that's as far as we can go. Okay, let's go in. Here we are. Is that a lizard? I don't like that lizard. Bird. I wonder if this bird talks. Maybe it'll give us an important clue. Nah, that'd be stupid. I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was a pup. During the climactic scene, they dropped giant rubber snakes on the audience. Why don't they make movies like that anymore? Higher standards? Probably. Uh -huh. Can we talk to this toucan? Don't be silly. Okay. She looks familiar. You know, you look like a really scary version of Evelyn Morrison, famed B-movie star. I am Evelyn Morrison, you cur! Oh. Actually, I'm more of an Irish wolfhound than a cur. Okay, so... I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in Prison. Oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. Okay, tell me about the Squatch. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I see. I'll take that as a no, then. All right, tell me about the little guy. You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy-as-a-bedbug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Oh, Why? Good. He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. How'd you end up in the hotel business? I bet it was a sordid combination of fast cars and fast living. Vroom, vroom. It was the stars. The stars? Bigger movie stars than you? Pshaw. Pshaw? No, the stars didn't get bigger. The rubber monsters got smaller. Oh, no. I still say it was a lurid tale of sin and depravity. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? Take them. They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. Uh. Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high-voltage tower. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit in Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. Oh boy. I think I like the humming better. Alright, let's have a chat with this fellow. What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of shindig. It's the event of the century. How's the band? Pretty happy, as far as I can tell. All right, let's go in. Stop. Oh. What's up? Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. 
Oh, heck. Oh. Ooh, what's this? It's a phone booth with privacy shading. Okay, well, not much we can do here. Let's go hit up these new spots we discovered. Okay, let's go to Dino World first. Dino Bungie National Memorial. Oh, neat. Let's see what's popping. Can't go that way, we'll just head right on in. Ooh. Look, a 70 million year old statue with no graffiti. I thought it was missing something. Where's the crayons? No way. Why not? You're artistically inept. Can I just paint his toenails red? Maybe later. All right, does this thing work? Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Liver. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular legs, and my savage razor sharp teeth. Some people make fun of me because I've got a brain the size of a walnut. But they usually stop making fun of me after I eat them. Hi, my name is I see. Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi, hi. Can I have your fur? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I don't have anything sharp, do I? I do not. I think we need to we need some of this this thing's fur. Uh, how do I get out of here? I'm lost. That's not the way. I well, guess we go the way we came. All right, what we got up here? Bunchy jumping out the president's noses. Sounds like a good time. Hmm. This place evokes a sense of wonder. You have to wonder. This line's not moving very quickly. The same thing could be said about the plot. That's not funny, Max. Uh... What's going on here, you cute little ragamuffin? What does it look like, Barface? Oh, no. You should show more respect toward your elders, Sonny. Respect this, Bowser Breath. Ooh, can I pummel him now, Sam? No, Max. Puberty will be punishment enough for this one. Oh, no. True. Can we cut in line? Not on your life, Fido. Rude. We want to ride the tar slide. Line forms in the back, Shep. Oh, the humanity. Where? So long, Squirt. Okay, not much we can do here. Unless we can get up I can't remember the last time I saw so much tar. Me neither, but my long-term memory is virtually non-existent. Well, let's hop over here. That seems like a good place to be. Uh, just go on in. Here we are. Hello. Are you in charge here? Yes, I'm an Olympic bungee jumper and I know everything there is to know about bungee jumping. Mm. Olympic bungee jumping? Well, she sounds sure. What do I do? The principles are important to master. Get a safety harness from behind that little screen over there. Once that's on, it's important that you jump from the board toward the pit of tar below. But I'm sure a great big hunk of fur like yourself would have no problem. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sounds easy. Looks dangerous. Oh. 
Max, where are you going? Hey, that furry pig thing is still down there. That's the beauty of this tar. It's always at the right consistency and temperature. It could be days before you sink too low for us to find you. Oh, boy. I'm convinced. Let's go, Flyboy. My nose is running. Whose isn't? Bye. So long, cutie. All right, what's this thing here? He must be the instructor on duty. But, but, but what is this? I guess we'll never know. Well, let's go get our harness. Oh, Quit no. that. She's harassing us. So, what do you think? It fits you just fine. Ooh, stand back. She may pounce. It's a danger I face every day. So, Max, Poor Sam. what do you think? A regular 007. Are you sure? Clint baby would be nervous. But get moving. I'm beginning to think you're stalling. Clint. Baby. Who's stalling? I'm just waiting for my buddy to come here and check out this spectacular view. Here we go. Oh boy. Can we just take this? I can't pick that up. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I know what we need to do. Oh, almost worked. Okay, hold on. There we go. And we're gonna get some tar. We got the tar. I don't know why we got it, but we got it. It's a bunch of tar. Hey, you can't leave with that on. Oh. Okay. Put that back. All right, we got some tar, but I we need more than just tar. I don't think there's much else here, so we're probably gonna have to go to the other new location we got, so let's go over there. Uh, where's my user? There it is! Alright, the famous people vegetables. Celebrity Vegetable Museum. What detail? See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? Oh, no. Alright, what do you got here? This is weird. Which one of these guys is the walrus? The celery stalk. I applaud this woman's monomania. What the holy mother of gourd is this? Oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. Hmm. Huh. So what do you know about Bigfoots? Don't translate well into vegetables. That's a I've shame. Been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. I wonder Check if there out was. Our fridge. Ew. What prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Well, I was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Now it won't stop. 
They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top. Reminded me of Conroy Bumpy so I ran a special. Neat. So what's the biggest thing in vegetable celebrities right now? I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that, Sam. You may not believe this, Sonny, but the biggest thing right now is miniaturization. Miniaturization? Peas. Peas? Peas? I know, I know, it seems impossible. All we are saying is give peas a chance. Ha ha, ha ha. Well, bye. Okay, what we got here? Remaindered Conroy Bumpus eggplants. I guess his 15 minutes of fame are about up. Oh, can I have one? I can. What's this? I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. Well, now we have Conroy Bumpus's head in the shape of an it's eggplant. It's an eggplant that looks somewhat like Conroy Bumpus. Let's see. That doesn't really help us. So, we need a way to get some fur off of that woolly mammoth, but I don't have anything sharp. Sharp. Use the tar. Let's go back. I mean, that would be weird if, if the tar itself just worked. I just feel like you would need you would need to. Oh, wait a second. My brain is working. Hold on. Hey, Max. Hey, what? I've got a job for those mighty incisors of yours. What? See that woolly mammoth? What about it? Stop playing dumb and get chomping. There he goes. This is gross. This is icky. This is nasty. Fine work, Max. Now we've got more full woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Yeah, the woolly mammoth died of embarrassment. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be enough. Let's go find out. Let's see if this is going to do the trick or not. Back to Half-Life Nevada. It says, Close enough for jazz. Let's go. I had no one to call. That's true. Call me, call me. You'd have to get cellular. I'm Pixular. It's better than cellular. I never That's knew. That's bad, Max. Really bad. Who cares? I'm cute. Jeez. All right. So we're going to use the tar on this suit. Now the costume is covered with tar. And we're going to use the mammoth fur on now the costume. Now we've got a Stiltwalker's costume covered with tar and full woolly mammoth hair. We'll put it on. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. Let's see. I guess we could try it on. <laughs> That's what I call one pitiful attempt at subterfuge. Hmm. I can't use these things. 
I can't use the I can't use these things. What are we missing? What are we missing? Let's see. Big feet? Oh, the hair growth pillow isn't gonna do nothing. I can't use these things together. Hair growth on just use it? No, it doesn't let me. See. Yeah, I'm probably missing something. So let's see. Bigfoots have I mean hmm. It's 91 yards of twine. It's not gonna help us. It's a stilt walker's costume covered with tar and faux woolly mammoth hair. No, I don't think the rope's gonna I do... I can't use... The yeah, rope isn't gonna have any effect. I can't use these... Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Oops. It's a broken golf ball retriever with a cup attached to it. It's a guide to the operation of macro hard maintenance droids. Okay, so we're pro yeah, okay. So we need a thing. Let's see. We need a thing. We need a thing. Let's see. Thing, thing, thing. Check out Bumpus's. Let's see if there's anything in here. Maybe we I just remembered. Okay, is 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 Dingle still in here? Yes. He okay, so we need to distract him. Is that robot still here? Or did he get apprehended? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, because there's nothing we can do now. Okay. I can't pick that up. Yeah, I know. We need this wig. It's one of Conroy's toupees. How can we get this wig? I don't suppose we can just grab it. Nope. Uh -oh. I should have known. Hey! That hurts! Knock it off! And stay out! Use eggplant in it. I don't know if the eggplant's gonna do anything, but I'll give it a shot. I think we have to avoid tripping the alarm, Sam. That's a good idea, Max. Get a gun and kill him. I don't think that's an option. Indiana Jones swap. Wasn't there another toupee in the game? Not sure. I can't use these things together. Oh, y'all were right. You were right. Oh boy. Got it. Oh no. Oh. And stay out. Well, it worked. Okay, I've attached Conroy Bumpus toupee to the Stiltwalker's costume. There we go. It's a Stiltwalker's costume covered with tar, faux woolly mammoth hair, and a toupee. 
That should do the trick. Let's head back to Half-Life Nevada. I guess we could try it on. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. If I was in any way inclined to be nice to you fellas, I'd reward your ingenuity by letting you in. Oh. What's bugging you? We just want to check out the party for a minute to see some friends. Aside from my flea and tick problem, my feet hurt. It's not like us Sasquatch can order up some orthopedic shoes anytime we want. Hmm, he has feet pains. Ooh, I know! Here. Oh, he's so happy. That's really gross. I owe you guys. That's nasty. All right, let's let's put the costume on again. I guess we could try it on. Hmm. It's perfect. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys in with that one. We did it! Here we go! Looks like something important's happening. Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that his many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem. A problem for future generations of Yeti to solve. Blithely, we sat back, ignoring our own inner call for action. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives. And the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can no longer choose to ignore. As it turns out, the humans and their technology are moving faster than we are, much faster than we had anticipated. And so, we now face the final crisis. Unless we pull together, not just acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving backward into extinction. Well, back to the music. Wow, what a well-spoken man. Okay. He looks happy in a gluttonous kind of way. That's the best kind of way. Have you seen Bruno around? I haven't seen the dude since he rescued me. I hear he's hiding out from a crazy bear and bunny who want to drag him off to an evil carnival. Bear? What was that? Guess. Ew. Oops, clicked off the window again. Let's get back in there. So, fellow smelly woodland creature, where have you been hiding for the past few years? Hiding? Dude, I've spent the last eight years manacled to a dunking booth. Oh. If when his girlfriend had rescued me, I'd still be there. Well, he was from the golf course. Your appetite's bigger than mine. Hey, man, if you'd spent the past eight years on a bread and water diet, you'd be scarfing down everything in sight, too, dude. So where are all the bodacious Bigfoot babes? Uh-oh. Take it easy, Max. You don't even like girls. I don't? Dude, are you, like, having an argument with your belly button? Uh... No. Have you heard from Trixie? Well, I guess she's hiding out with Bruno. Mm. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus around here? Is he the guy that coined the phrase, Hang Ten? I don't no, think so. No, he's a country western star going berserk. Ooh, heinous. I'll let you get back to your food. Mahalo, dude. Alright, what else we got here? There's a bunch of Sasquatches back there. 
What choreography? What choreography? What choreography? Oh, there's a bottle! Give that to me! That's what I need! It has a cork in it! Yes! How do I how do I get the cork out though? Chateau Sasquatch 92. A very bad year. I can't use Well, at least we have it. What Corey? No, not them, the this guy. He looks spooky in a cheery sort of way. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Has Bruno shown up yet? Keep your voice down. Bruno's involved in a top secret reconnaissance mission to the alien's home planet. Aliens? Of course. How silly of me to forget. Have you seen Bruno's girlfriend anywhere? She's helping Bruno contact the aliens. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You haven't run into Conroy Bumpus, have you? No, but I know how to deal with him. He has a near-fatal vulnerability to ice, like all beings from the evil planet Snarkton. Snarkton? We'll keep that in mind. Didn't we meet last summer in Cancun? I don't think so. I was hanging upside down in a block of ice last summer. How'd that happen? Oh, the usual. I was strolling in the Andes, minding my own business, when some idiot mountain climber comes along and yells, Hey, it's the abominable snowman. Next <laughs> thing I the know, usual. there's an avalanche, and I'm covered in 20 feet of snow. When I wake up, I'm hanging upside down in an ice block, it's some place called the Mystery Vortex. You're the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen! I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Hey, it's the abominable, abominable, let me out of... Ah, forget it. Alright, well that's his story. We'll catch you later. Figure of speech. I wonder if they'll play Yellow River. Alright, let's talk let's talk to her. Come, my darling, let me take you away from all of this. Can Vanuatu come too? Vanuahu? Vanuatu! The Bigfoot chief! Uh-oh. The guy who just gave that speech! My husband! <laughs> Don't sweat it, Junior! If I had a tree for every time a teenage Bigfoot's made a drunken pass at me, we surely wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. Oh Not my. really. Well, let's ask her about things. Have you seen Bruno? Bruno? Why, me and Mr. V have known little Bruno since he was knee-high to a pig. Salt of the earth Bruno is. Nicest, most generous Bigfoot you'll ever meet. Dumb as a post, of course, but generous. Why, just the other day, I was talking to my manicurist, Kimmy, and I said, Kimmy, that Bruno has got to be the dumbest creature to ever walk the surface of the planet. That's then rude. she had the nerve to say, blah, blah, blah. I see. Bow, bow, bow. Right. Bow, bow, bow. Okay. Of course, I just said, Right. Walla, walla, walla. Have you seen Trixie around here? Trixie? Nice girl, wonderful human being. Complete fashion victim, of course, but so pleasant. Just last week, I was talking to Katie, my oh. color consultant. Oh, not Katie. And I said, Katie, that Trixie girl wouldn't know a burn noose from a sarong if her life depended on it. So she said... You haven't seen Conroy Bumpus sneaking around, have you? Internationally renowned country western superstar Conroy Bumpus? Yeah. I've got all his albums. He's oh. the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh. I'd say he's the most gifted entertainer of the 20th century. He's an immoral cretin, of course, but boy, can he sing. 
I was talking to my chiropractor, Karen, just no. last month, and I said, Karen, that despicable Conroy Bumpus sure has got a pretty voice. So she said, Oogly, oogly, oogly. Okay. Adieu. Don't be a stranger. All right, let, let's check out the back room here. Stop. What? Sorry, hon. Only Yeti elders are allowed in the pool area. Oh. Is that a door back there? Can we go over there? Yep. We're in the kitchen. What's that? It's an ice pick. I'll take it. Just in case we need to shank someone. Ooh. It's a freezer. Almost no reason to go in there, so let's go in. I don't think we can go in. It's for the best. Let's leave it open. It'll be funny. Is there anything else we can interact with here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Can we go out this back door? Uh oh. Well, 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 a Bigfoot. Sure is a scrawny feller. A Bigfoot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. Uh, sorry, boss. Think nothing of it, old chap. Now, be a good lad and pop off to the bus and get the net. Not the net. Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpus. Don't get the net. Don't get it. Uh-oh. Hey, Conroy. What do you want? I'm, I'm not a Bigfoot, it's a I'm costume. I'm not really a Bigfoot, you know. Pull the other one. Uh-oh. Why do you persecute harmless Bigfoots? Harmless? Harmless? I'll have you know my parents were killed by a rabid Bigfoot. Oh, no. Really? Well... No, actually, I'm just a warped, evil person who gets his jollies tortured in cute woodland creatures. Oh, I see. Well, that's a valid motivation, too. Where'd you get that British accent, anyway? I'm originally from Liverpool, twit. You. Gross. Where'd you get the extra toupee? I'm only gonna say this once, so listen closely. I don't wear a toupee. Look, behind you, a three-headed monkey. Nice try. I can't be in your menagerie. I don't know how to play an instrument. You'll be amazed how a few hundred volts speeds up the learning process. You'll never get away with this. Ooh, I'm so scared. All right, let's see if I have anything here. I'm gonna throw a bottle at him. Don't make a move. Oh. Okay, I'm leaving. Don't make a move. We're not. Okay, we gotta use something. Let's see. Hmm. I have an ice pick. Don't make a move. Hmm. Don't make a move. What do we have we can use here? Magnet fish. Don't make a move. Bomb him. That's not Don't a bomb, a it's move. a board game. Don't make a move. Don't make a move. Thought I'd have a little chat with Max there. I'll smother him with this pillow. Don't make a move. I'd better take the cup off first. Don't make a move. Not quite. Don't make a move. Don't make a move. Hmm. Let's see what we have. Bum 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 bum. All right. Let's try using stuff. Nope. That's a light. Maybe oh. this will convince you that I'm Duh. not a Bigfoot. There we go. You again? I left the net back in Bumpusville. Forget the net. We're gonna disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Why? 
so we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their ways, and pick them off at our leisure. Oh. Of course. And no funny stuff, dog boy. Yeah. Oh, about that. I think you got that on backwards. Hey! I wouldn't move if I were you. Yeah. Hey! I wouldn't move if I were you. Yeah. Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? There you go. That was fun. Nice and cold. Now future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal warblings. Are there any more shrimp balls back here? Just us. Who, who are you? We're the freelance police. We just saved your collective hash. Really? Then I guess it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chiefs. Neat. Walk this way. Can I have your attention, please? Okay. Although it's our tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings, these two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. These are a naive people. <laughs> and so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? We don't want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. That's a good point. I know, but it's the principle of the thing. You may now wander freely about the convention floor without concern for your health. Gee, thanks. Think nothing of it. Follow me. Alright, let's see what's back here. Ooh. Fancy. Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. Spill the beans. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Like fruitcake. Delicious. We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation, but the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Sounds heavy. Like fruitcake. It's real heavy. Bruno. He's here. Like fruitcake. Why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. Oh, no. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. No wonder we're facing extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tubes. These totem poles might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean, B, most of us have been partying too much to figure out what they mean, and C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. We wouldn't normally be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. Okay, what is this? What is this? Some kind of tornado? Dentistry? Hmm. A patron saint of Bigfoots? Hmm. Looks like a before and after shot. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I'm staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. You're getting soft, Sam. We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Uh, help us figure this out. What do you make of that totem pole on the far left? 
Let me take a look. Hmm. Well? It's a totem pole. Oh. And? It's made of wood. Right. It's not too late to take him back to the carnival, you know. And what about the next one? Any keen Bigfoot insights into the totem pole with a tooth on it? I've been staring at that one for hours, and... Yes? I think it has something to do with teeth. Wow. I'm not holding my breath, but do you have any clue who the guy in the third totem pole is? Nope. He sure seems to get along with vegetables, though. Sam, the guy in that pole's got a marshmallow. So? I want a marshmallow. Me too. Max, you are a marshmallow. See that totem pole? What about it? What do you think it means? Hmm. I've got it. What did you tell them? I told them to start looking for bald guys with spaghetti on their heads. Great idea. So what do you think about all this? I'm just happy to be here, Sam. Happy to be at room temperature and happy to be free at last. Born free, as free as the wind blows. Max. What? What were you saying, Bruno? Hmm. I lost my thought. Darn. How do you and Trixie meet, anyway? We didn't really meet until she thawed me out. But I've loved her ever since that first night she snuck into the freak tent and sang me to sleep with a Scrantonese lullaby. <laughs> And you want to put him back in a block of ice. Yeah! So? I give up. Well, now that Conroy's out of your hair, what are you going to do? Try brushing it, maybe? Well, I've still got the Cushmans to worry about, so I guess I'm still a little tense. Okay. Um, so we have to figure out you. these totems now. What if I see you first? I drink this? I can't use these things together. And Max drink it? I can't use these nope. things together. Oh, where are you going? Where's he going? Where'd he go? Let's get out of here. What is this? Some kind of tornado? Uh, how, how do we get out of here? There we go. Okay, um, I guess we have to do something about those totems, but I'm not sure what. Mrs. V? Yes? So, what's your take on that tornado totem pole? Well, my husband thinks it's some sort of homage to the wild and woolly nature of us Bigfoots. But if you ask me, I think it's an indictment of people who don't wash their hands before dinner. I remember when we had our niece, oh, Jay, no. for dinner, and I said, Jay, don't you touch that bread until you wash the icon off your fur. So she said, yada, yada, yada. Oh, okay, let, 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 let's not. Let's not. Don't be a stranger. Let's not ask her about it. There is no try. There's only do or donut. What are you talking about? I was hoping you'd tell me. What do you want? All right, tell me about the totems. In your delusional opinion, what would you make of the first totem pole? Well, the great winds depicted represent the chaos caused by the return of our alien brothers. Not entirely unlike the gust of wind we're hearing now. Okay, I don't think any Gotta of these go. guys are going to tell me anything. To be perfectly honest. How do I... There we go. Shoot. Chateau Sasquatch 92. A very bad year. Now what do we do? Hmm. 
let's see. Can you ice pick the cork out? Uh... I don't think the ice pick will remove the cork. Well, the game thought of it, but it didn't do the job. I can't use these things together. Let's see... I can't use these things together. I was hoping I can get a tooth. Hi, my... I can't use these things together. Uh, how do I interact with... There we go. I can't use nope. these things together. Hmm. Hmm. I can't use these things together. How can I get a tooth? What are these? I wonder how he flossed with those itty bitty hands. Hmm, how am I gonna get those teeth? Go. Now what? I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. I can't use these things together. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, <laughs> um... You did it! We finally got the tooth! The whole tooth? Nothing but! It's a somewhat authentic dinosaur tooth. Can I use this to open a bottle? I can't use these- It's worth trying. I don't know if these pigeons are going to help me with this bottle, but let's try it. I don't think he'd want that. Hmm. It was worth a shot. It's an ice pick. Really irritating that it's not... I don't think the ice pick will remove the cork. Like, it's recognizing that it's a thing, but... Hmm. Let me Take in. Take a leg, Max. Get over here, Max. Alright, let me in. I have a man to talk to. Could you bend this? Sure. Just let me finish this one. Okay. Alright. Give me a bend. Hmm. How's that? Oh. Great. Neat. That seems to have gotten the cork off. Shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? With this poison? Don't be silly. 
All right, now we have a now we have a cork. Cork. And that means we can it's trap an empty snow globe without a stopper. We can trap the the magical what's it inside of the snow globe now. Let's go take care of that. Right, give me my walkie hands. There they are. All right, let's head over and go grab the stuff. there. Let me in. Alright. Get me in here. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. Alright, we're gonna use that. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the suit. I was hoping something like that would happen. We had to use the cork first, I think. That seems to have capped the snow globe. Let's see. It's a snow globe full of swirling pseudo-mystical energies. Okay, that works. Let's go. Now that we have... I mean, that's going to be the solution to one of the puzzles. I'm just wondering... Do we just go and put it in place now? Let's go see. Oh, come on. No, no, don't go over there. There we go. Let me in the back. Let me in the back. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Back. Back, I say. Uh. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's try this. I can't use these things together. Oh. Um, I thought that's what we had to do. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I don't think he'd want that. Uh, where'd he go? That's weird. Oh, what? Okay, that's... Mm. I feel like they could have done that a little better, but I'll, I'll take it. Hey, Chief. Don't call me Chief. What do you make of the first totem pole? As you know, this is a problem that I've been working on for many years. Research strongly suggests this totem pole to be representative of the whirlwind nature of us Bigfoots. Alright, well, let me try giving him an I'll object. Be back. I'll be here. Oh, 
I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. It spins! Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. A handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. Pretty much, yeah, nothing. <laughs> uh, let's give him a tooth. Hey, Chiefy Poo. I think I figured out one of those baffling totem poles. A genuine dinosaur tooth. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? And then there's hair, but I don't know what much we can do other than this thing. Hey, Mr. Chief, we found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah? W what is it? Ew! And then there's that wizard with vegetables Hair and a marshmallow. Part. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. I have anything for that? I don't think I have this last one. Let's go back to the vegetable lady, see if she can give us something. A wizard with a marshmallow over fire, and there's vegetables behind him. Let's see if we can't find something. Okay, pop into the DeSoto. Let's see, over here. I guess we'll just take John Muir with us. Seems a bit rude to just take him, but... Might as well. Alright, and let's take him to the vegetable lady. Uh, where is it? There he is. Oh, keep going, Sam. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, huh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. Okay. Let's just... I guess we'll... leave. While she's working on that. And then let's go back and see if she's done. my John Muir vegetable. There he is. Here you go, son. A zucchini squash that looks just like John Muir. Gee, thanks, man. Alright, let's... Thanks. Bye. Get out of here. And that should do the trick. Go pop this into the pool. Oh, that's not the right way.
All right. And over the last piece, and we should be all sorted. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come, come on. I still don't understand how this part works. Oh, okay, there he goes. There he goes. Uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't turn around. Don't. You, you almost had it. All right. I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. There he is. It's gone. The combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? Well, that should do it, right? Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but... Of course, how silly of me. What? In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. And it'd be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got an idea, and it doesn't require high explosives. Right here. While he's gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. Great plan. There we go. The perfect Bigfoot. He's dead now. We killed him. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. I don't know. Oh, oh gosh. I think we messed up. We may have made a mistake. This might have not been the best plan. I don't think we thought this through. Well, that was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. If it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. Me. We want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in. Live our lives. Maybe even raise a family. Ew. Gross. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy, primitive man-beast, you. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the western United States? You bet we are. Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. We won. Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mmm. Foil covered chocolatey goodness. What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. Well, I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. Oh, boy. Ew. I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. 
Hey, we forgot to get paid. Oh, dang. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. Here we are. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! Oh, he How survived. How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee-ball tickets? Close enough. Let's go, Max. You know, Max, I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it! You crack me up, little buddy. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? We did it! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> now we get to shoot our guns! Did we just kill Bubsy the Bobcat? Is that Bubsy right here? Oh no. We saved them. Eat it, R2. Eat it, Bubsy. Eat it, Tentacle. We did a great job. Every one of us. Look at all these people who made the video game. They're all here. They're all looking at- we're all looking at their names. Well. Well. Well, that was Sam and Max. We hit the road. That was it. We did it. We hit the road. We destroyed America. Everything's messed up. Everything's in bad shape now. Wow. Look at all these people who made the video game. They're even crediting the people who made the manual. Even seen the manual. Lunchtime catering. They're crediting the caterer. Lost my brain feeling after all the puzzles. Um, slightly vib vibracious. To be perfectly honest. But that happens. It's normal to have a vibrating brain every once in a while. It's healthy. It's good for the digestion. It really helps you get through the day. Now they're getting to all these executive losers who didn't actually ever... ...lay a finger on the game. Oh, here's some... here's some... ...instrumentalists. Music... music issues. Thank you, George Lucas. Thanks for nothing! Oh, okay, I'll stop now, sorry. Okay, I, I stopped. Okay, I, it's over, I get it. You leave- okay, bye. Yeah, you can leave if you want. Haha, <laughs> we're back! Ha 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 ha! Where'd the funny text go? Where did- where did it go? 
Where is it? Where's the funny text? I need the funny text to guide me in life! Where'd it go? Is that it? Does the game just leave you here <laughs> at the end? I think the game just drops you off right here and that's it. This is the rest of your life. I hope you can figure out where the power button is on your computer because you're going to need it. You're going to need that power button. Understandable. Full rapid fire! Oh! Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, is that it? Yep, I think that's it. Well, there you go. So that was Sam and Max. I'm gonna leave a save. It's called... I did it. I did it. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'm... I'm surprised we got this game done in one sitting. I figured it was gonna take two. Shit, you know what that means? That means I'm gonna have to figure out something else to play next weekend. Dang! <laughs> oh, dang it! Well... Well... Well, as usual, tweet your suggestions at me so I can try to figure out something I'm gonna play. Um... Thank y'all for showing up. Um... Tune in on Tuesday when we do more Dragon Ball Z, Boo's Fury. I'm gonna try to find some something to eat. I'm gonna try to find some food to put in my face. Alright! Thanks for watching! Mario.